The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. And good evening and welcome to Columbia, Tennessee at the home of Columbia Academy. We are here for second round action in Division II single A playoff, two of the finer teams in the state. Jackson Christians had a good season consistently, only one bump in the road at TCA where they lost after they dominated the first half. And the Columbia Academy team started off losing several ball games early and they have been on a roll especially the last five games they are the winner of their region so therefore they got a bye last week we finished second had to play and uh, had a really good ball game of course we had won 16 straight games at southern capital field counting that one and ronnie fowler stadium last week austin kelly had a great game we'll tell you about some other people but let's tell you about the two teams involved here very quickly now you are watching this on the jackson christian facebook actually you're listening tonight i'm doing more of a radio style broadcast 24 hours the game has to be over before they can the archive game it'll be on the facebook and it'll be on worthy road studios youtube page and you can see it in 24 hours Don't waste your money on the National Federation broadcast. And uh, we've got it. I'm going to give you the best radio broadcast I can give you. I'll give you time and all kinds of elements that you don't usually hear me. And tomorrow you can watch our Power 8 scoreboard work on time and scoring. But let's tell you something about the Columbia Academy Bulldogs. They are here in the city of Columbia. This used to be Columbia Military Academy. They were founded in 1890 with an enrollment in the upper grades of 262 students. The headmaster is James Thomas. Their athletic director, Pernell Knox. They are a region middle. And uh, last year they were four and six. This year they have a fine record of eight and three. And like I said, they got hot. Their head coach is Seth Anderson. He also handles the offensive coordinator uh, duties. Their defensive coordinator is Travis McKnight, and they have 15 starters returning from last year. Their overall playoff record in TWSWA history is 17 and 70. They have no football championships under the playoff system. Now, the Eagles of Jackson Christian School, all of you at home know that. They come from Jackson, Tennessee, over on Country Club Lane and, of course, the county of Madison. They were founded in 1976, have an enrollment of 203. Dr. Billy Lonis is our president and the athletic director, Darby Palmer. He just happens to be the head coach. We are in Region Single A West. Last year's record was 10-2. We're at 10-1 right now. The head coach, again, is Darby Palmer. Offensive coordinator, Will Reichert. Defensive coordinator, Rob Phillips. We have 12 starters returning, four on offense, eight on defense. A playoff record in Jackson Christian's history of 25 and 22. And we have something that no other team in Madison County has in the playoff days. We have the Gold Ball State Championship of 2006. The closest thing to that is Jackson High's three, you call them mythical newspaper championships in the 60s. But we do have that. This is going to be a really tough game. Could be a slobber knocker, a white knuckler. Last year it was raining, it was lightning. We got a half in. And then later in the season, Columbia Academy had to come to Jackson Christian's field for the playoffs. Now we're going to take a short time out, and when we come back, After that timeout, we will tell you more about these two teams and cover the game. The rain out game last year, lightning out, however you want to say it, that was canceled at halftime. Most of us didn't leave here until after 12 o'clock. It didn't count in the stats or anything like that. And Jalen Mosley didn't play with us in that game, much like he's not going to play tonight. Anyway, let's take that timeout. You're on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Facebook Network. 
Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Back at Columbia Academy, Coach Joe Holloway bringing you the Jackson Christian Facebook and Worthy Road Studios broadcast of exciting Jackson Christian Eagle football. Basketball season opens up with a couple of Hall of Fame games Tuesday night, but we're here to talk football, play football. No lightning, and I had my brought my lightning rod with me because last year when we came here, it wasn't just horrible weather. Uh, if you can think of worse words than horrible, uh, they described a downpour, and like I said, I got back to Jackson, and the team did. It was late and I had to get up and do a 9 o'clock show on WNWS the next morning. And uh, uh, we played okay, but neither team were, was able to do what they needed to do. And like I said, Jalen, much like tonight, Jalen Mosley, the um, ranked ESPN ranking player, was not with us last year. He's here, but unfortunately he cannot run up and down the field due to that patella tendon injury. And But we've got a lot of other fine young men. We've got guys with speed like Roland and Easton Jones. Deuce Lawrence has been toting the mail quite well. But let's familiarize you a little bit and tell you about things. Jackson Christian comes in at 10-1. and one. Columbia Academy, 8-3, and three, I believe, is the correct thing. Now, some things have them at 7-3, but, um, well, they got to buy. So they are still 7-3. and three. Um, Unfortunately, I copy – things just like everybody else from local newspapers they're actually seven and three now according to a good friend of mine maurice Patton, who used to write for the tennessean and now is part of main street prep and especially the murray county edition um he says he remembers and so do the bulldogs a 49 14 loss to the host eagles uh last year in the opening round 
Now for them, uh, CA has the home field advantage in this one, and they come in well rested. We've still got some nicks and bumps and bruises, and uh, Ezel Harding did hit us fairly hard last week. We won 37-7, and uh, missing though is our great wide out safety man, punt returner, kickoff returner, uh, who suffered, an, and they say a knee injury. It's actually a patella tendon is what happened to Jalen. And um, we'll be without him, but like I said, we've got young men. Jack Collins had a great game last week, and we'll tell you a little more about our people. But they are led by a junior running back who is like Jalen, a Mr. Football semifinalist, and, um, or actually finalist uh, to keep the terminology correct. Monte Baldwin wears number three. He has gained 1,552 yards, 21 touchdowns. And uh, they are semifinalists. I'll get my terminology right. They also have a quarterback. We didn't. We saw him the first time, but didn't see him the second time. And again, that was a rainout game, so you're not going to find many records on it. The first game, uh, the quarterback is number five, Connor Rawson, and he's a pretty good thrower. Uh, he's going to be one of the better ones that we have seen this year at quarterback. He's got 1,696 passing yards and has thrown for 20 touchdowns. And uh, those are some of the guys, but they've got some outstanding wideouts. Darrow, who wears one, Brownlee, who wears two, and they've got some other young men that I'll mention during the broadcast. So don't, they've got a big offensive line. Their line is a lot bigger than our defensive line, except for Cedric. But, again, it's not the size of the dog. It's the size of the fight in the dog when you do have a dog fight. And we'll tell you, of course, one of our defensive positions is the dog end. Uh, in that uh, defensive end, and that is our own Caleb Newsom. But let's get back to Columbia Academy for a moment or two. The winner of this contest will face the winner of First Assembly Christian and Middle Tennessee Christian, a winner for a berth in the state. Um, well, actually, that's going to be semifinals. That's what I get for borrowing things. And I hate to say this, my good friend Maurice Patton picked Columbia Academy to win 39-28 over our Eagles. Well, my good friend Michael Odom and former student and uh, student assistant volleyball coach, Michael Odom of the Mile and Mirror Exchange, says Jackson Christian will win. I believe he said by three. I did not write that one down. Some players to watch for Columbia Academy that we were given earlier. Number one, C.J. Darrell, the senior wide receiver and defensive back. He's six foot 180. Harrison Brownlee, and I saw him work last year. The young man has good footwork, runs good routes. He also could play quarterback if he had to. Be interesting to see if they try some type of flanker or wide out with a pass being thrown by the wide out. Number three, Monte Baldwin. I've already told you about him. He's just a junior, 5'9", 170 running back, but he plays a good linebacker, and on occasion he's got a couple of sacks for them. Number four, Parker Shirley, and uh, – he is one that we were given on a list of players to watch. Number five, Connor Rawson, the senior quarterback, defensive back, 6'4", 180. Jack Gordon, a junior, who is a running back, a defensive back. Jack will get some running back time. He's 5'10", 155. You'll see him at wide out, number eight, Mac Jackson, junior, and he's 5'10", 150. Another young man that will be playing some running back and wide out is number 11, Cade Jackson. There's actually – Two of the Jackson boys on this team. And uh, Gabriel Sapicki, he is a, a big lineman. He's a senior. And 6'3", 220. His dad is a state legislator. And uh, also you got Daniel Sapicki. He's even bigger. He is 6'4", and 280. And he's just a sophomore. And the uh, same deal with him as a state representative for a father. 73, Blake Barker. Fine-looking young man when you evaluate tape and grade them out. A junior, six foot, 250. Then number 75, Caden Johnson, another junior, 6'2", 250. And you can see they kind of outweigh us a little bit. So we've got to slant and use technique, keep leverage, and do things like that. And we have played one common opponent, and that's Ezel Harding. Now, you know the folks to watch for us. Uh, you start with Austin Kelly, our fine quarterback who needs 39 yards to pass Matt Hudson for number five all-time in single season passing yards. He's also thrown oh, – well, every time he throws a touchdown, it's a new record. And we'll give you the stats on that. Deuce Lawrence, he can carry that football now, and he's pretty good at that. 
and um, had a good game last week. Our defense has been keeping us up a little bit. Jack Collins, four receptions, 52 yards, and a TD. And, of course, Elijah DeMoss got better and better as the game got on. And, of course, we've got a fine offensive line, and they'll have to be a fine offensive line tonight. All-time versus Columbia Academy. Jackson Christian holds a 3-1 edge. The last meeting, as we told you, in the first round of the playoffs last year was 49-14. We were a winner. This will be the eighth quarterfinal appearance in school history, two and five all times in quarterfinal games. And that is a little bit about these teams. We'll come back and talk about some more of this after another timeout here on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Facebook Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives. 0% financing up to 60 months. And invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles. BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Back at Columbia Academy where the 7-3 and three CA, and I've adjusted, and like I said, that's what happens sometimes when you use the wrong sources and some good ones. The stuff Mo Patton gave me was, or I got from his article, I didn't get to talk to Mo this week. Usually I do when we play CA, and hopefully he's listening. I want to say hello to another great sports writer here in Columbia that is going to watch our broadcast when it, it's remember it's archived and you can't see it for 24 hours but you can hear go ahead and tell people i'll give you the best i can on a radio style broadcast and then tomorrow you can hear your voice give it out don't waste the money on the national federation broadcast um because it's going to cost you uh just for one game 11.95 here so don't waste your money on that we'll have it archived and live tomorrow we you'll get it audio tonight we appreciate the Booster Club of Jackson Christian, but Mo Grimes will be listening tonight and watching tomorrow. A uh, great sports writer here. He and uh, Marion that used to be the sports editor, what a one-two dynamic duo they were. And Mo, I know you're listening, and but he doesn't write on Facebook and stuff, so Mo, glad to be able to say hey to you. And we've got a lot of fans coming up here. Beautiful press box across the way. We're in what used to be 
the old press box for CA, even going back to when they were Columbia Military Academy. And uh, I take it they are not open on this side. Oh, the concession stand has let me down. Not, not my young helper here, but the concession stand has let me down. And um, the, uh, I, know, I know what I need to do. And, uh, Gary, if we could, let's take a quick one-minute timeout, and I'm going to get our young friend to help us out. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flowing experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. And we are back, and I'm sure you got to hear a little bit of me. Uh, I forgot because of getting ready and so busy to uh, eat anything late, and you don't want to let your blood sugar go down. Let's take another time out. We'll be back after pregame festivities. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the path. 
from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661. Anderson Fieldhouse. I have coached in that gymnasium. Now, we, when I was at Santa Fe up here, and they don't say Santa Fe, they call it Santa Fe. Uh, I have not lost to Columbia uh, Academy and girls basketball, but we played in the old gym that was built on top of some classrooms and stuff. It was an interesting gymnasium. It was Columbia Military's uh, old gym. Uh, a guy named Jim Barron that some of y'all are familiar with that wound up coaching down at Hardin County at one time. Uh, was a wishbone coach up here, and uh, the school uh, was a military academy. We're about to have the coin toss, and, of course, our starters are the same as they were last week uh, with Austin Kelly, DeMoss, and uh, Roland. Now, there could be some switching in the uh, as late as we got up here in the wideouts. Deuce Lawrence will start, and coming out for the – Jackson Christian, Austin Kelly, Daniel Green. Big Cedric is coming out. That looks like Eli Gay down there. I did not get the numbers for Columbia Academy. But this is a Division II contest. And our young men looking good, but they're blocking out their young men. And the officials explaining everything. And... uh, This game, the clock uh, is it's all digital and on the screen. Two twelve left as far as before we start this contest. We've got to get our rosters and things out here and get ready to give you a little football. And Jackson Christian will call it. You know, if they win it, they will take the football. We'll see what Columbia Academy will they defer. And it looks like Jackson Christian has got the toss and will take the football as they like. It's very important tonight, even more important than any other game this year, that they put the ball in the end zone on that first drive. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to win if they don't, but it is really, really important to get that um, going. CA has their victory line to the south of this field. This field runs north and south. Jackson Christian has their cheerleaders holding the Jackson Christian with that big eagle sign on it down there, and they are ready to break through their banner, and we'll see who comes first on that. And it is the Eagles dapperly attired in their white jerseys with the UCLA stripes and the blue pants, and hopefully you can hear we've got people with the cowbells and noisemakers and stuff. We've got a good contingent from Jackson Christian School. Now here comes the Bulldogs of Columbia Academy. And uh, I've never been, and they've got one of those cannons like they have over at Covington. And I'm sure that when and if they score, they will fire it. Uh, And I had forgotten about that. It was too wet to fire it much last year, as my good friend Gary Lockhart, who's producing and directing, will tell you. And again, we will remind you, this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios. Any reuse, retransmission, or any type of use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. TWSAA fees and National Federation fees have been paid. And... We are just about ready for football. Jackson Christian already out there. Now, right now, we are, our deepest man is only at the 18 or 19. And 17 for them is the kicker. That is Isaac Smith. He's a senior. He also does their punting, too. And it looks like we have most of the good hands team up there on the front line, and there are nothing but people that have handled the football out there now. 
as we await the approach of Smith to kick the football. A running start as they try to mess your blocking pattern up, and it comes down at about the 17. And here's a good return, but grabbing a handful of the back of the jersey. And a nice return was, we'll check that out, and we'll start the football. We got to get our score sheets. We are working under duress. Very tight space. I don't even have time or space to put down two sheets to keep the stats. First and 10, football on approximately the 31. Here's the handoff. Carrying the football is Elijah DeMoss. And you know Elijah, he has got some speed. Gain of six looks like. We'll try to pick the tacklers up a little better for you. There will be no replays tonight because we are audio quickly to the line of scrimmage. Strength of our formation to the left, trips left. They send an extra guy now. We check it out, and we see that seven was sneaking out there. But uh, that's Jack Gordon, who's a good, very good player. Three down lineman for TCA. Or actually, I called him TCA for CA. And this time, Kelly can throw it away, and it'll be incomplete. And that one was a good one to throw away. So he's going to make it third and about four. Now, probably along with now, we can pull the guards. We've got some inside handoffs. Let's see who's in the backfield. Deuce Lawrence. And now, oh, we weren't looking. The ball hit and a fumble recovery. And uh, we, to be honest with you, miscommunication at the 11:05 mark, and we have given Columbia Academy a big, big advantage here. And remember, I said we needed to score. They will get the football. First and 10 on our 35-yard line. It'll be up to the defense here to hold them. They have an H back. They're in the pistol with motion, and they're going to give to Baldwin, and he goes off tackle for a nice gain down to about the 31. May have rolled to the 30. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they give him the roll or where he actually touched down. And Well, they kind of got in between on that one. We'll give him a pickup of five. It's, again, they'll fake it, throw it outside, two-man screen out there, or quick screen, bubble screen, whatever you want to call it. And crossing now one for one, and it is a first down. That'll be the initial first down of the game. And they get the ball when Baldwin tries a stiff arm, and Eli's coming, as they say, from Three Dog Night. Eli Craig there, also Kai White, and help from the Eagle. That is playing the Eagle position. Easton Jones wearing zero. 10-21 left on the clock in the first quarter. One-yard gain. Crossing wants to throw. They've got the receiver, and a good job because there's uh, not – you can cover like that in high school football. It brings up third down and nine. Number eight, Connor Rawson, and I may have said Crossan, did not mean to, but Connor Rawson, the quarterback, wearing five. Baldwin wears three. They come with an H back left, a slot left, a single wide out to the right. And they're going to give to Baldwin. Now, looks like, oh, yes, there is the man with the plan wearing number 18. You need to meet this young man. And Brother Baldwin just met him. Gavin Walker, the 6'4 junior. They're going to go for it. Now, loss of one, it's fourth and 10. They're going to fake. Here's the pass across the middle. Did he hold on to it? And I think the officials are going to give him credit for the catch. Another first down. 
This is the difference in their team last year and this year. It is first and goal. They're going to try Baldwin over the left side. This time he tries to break it outside. Broke one tackle, and Eli Craig holds on and bulldogs him down. Second and goal. It'll be second goal from approximately the 10. Wide side to the right. Trips right. They read RPO this time. Baldwin's got good yardage. He's going to take it 10 yards and a touchdown. And does a little dance in the end zone. But we put ourselves in a bad position. 35-yard drive at the nine-minute mark. Baldwin goes 10 yards. Monte Baldwin, who is a Mr. Football candidate also. Columbia Academy has a 6-0 lead here at the nine-minute mark in the first quarter. They show the old swinging gate formation. They send a man in motion. They've still got time, 13 seconds. They're going to go for two, and they're trying to knock us out quickly. It's an incomplete pass, two for four, and it is 6 to nothing with the failure on that. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. We are back, trailing six to nothing, nine minutes to go in the first quarter of play. A fumble. Uh, we just didn't communicate. I don't think Austin Kelly was expecting it or something caused it. Came back, hit him, and Columbia Academy pounced on it. Smith will be kicking off for them. See, Easton Jones, our deepest man, at about the 15. And we'll pick up our others, usually Jack. Collins, and it looks like him to the far side of the field. Not a great press box to work from. We've got a pole to look around. And it is caught by Blake Rowland. He's going to try if he can beat one man, but footing gives away, and they have had some rain this morning up here. And I saw the, the grass kind of come up and give way on him, and I thought Blake was going to have a really good return. Still gets it out to about the 27-yard line. And that's where Jackson Christian will – Take it and go into their offense. They'll come straight to the line of scrimmage. DeMoss and Collins to the right side. And uh, I appreciate my wife. That's what some of the commotion was about a while ago. Here's the play. Trying the left side and a short gain. About three, maybe four, depending on the spot of the football. And that was Deuce Lawrence. The uh, quickly carrier comes to this side. DeMoss, one receiver to the right. We're in there spread with a tight end. Here's the quick toss out to carrier. He tries to spin, get away, gets across the 30 for about a two-yard pickup. And we'll check this out whether it's five or six. Depends on the spot. And it looks like third and a long six. Wide side to the left. Kelly and Lawrence in the backfield. A wing back rather. Spring left. We didn't get the man blocked. We complete the pass, but DeMoss is going to be hauled down at about the 32-yard line, maybe the 33. And uh, interesting. It's fourth down. DeMoss with a short pickup. The punting team comes on. And they go to, it's not the center eligible. It's actually muddle huddle. Let's see if we shift. Seven seconds on it. 
They'll rush three people. Well, we're going to run with it. We've got an angle. We got the first down and breaking loose is Easton Jones. He looked like he was shot out of a cannon from the 33 of Jackson Christian down to about the 44. Uh, the initial first down for the Eagles, and that's good that we didn't give them the football back because Big Mo would have really been going their way, and we're not talking about Maurice Patton. Three down lineman, a stand-up linebacker or defensive end to rush, and he's coming. Check and see if four is coming off of this end. Here's the fake to Deuce. I'll give him to Deuce. Good play, Deuce Lawrence. And actually the tackler helped him get an extra two yards. He's across the 50, and that is a terrible spot if they mark it on the 50. He should have the 49. And this, uh, that is a horrible spot. Uh, he did not touch the ground there. The tackler rolled him over. Six-yard gain, second and four. Here's Kelly, quick out. And did they intercept it? They say no, incomplete. Kelly now two for four passing. That fumble is the big play. Jackson Christian could have had an interception. That would have been horrible. We need some momentum. We trail six to nothing at the 618 mark. Third and four. And actually it's about four and a half. Two wide outs to the left. Kelly looks, wants to go deep. Got Jack Collins down the sideline and just out. Good close coverage just in and out of Jack's hands. It'll be a punting situation. So 6-11 to go here in the first quarter. And uh, I forget that I was looking for the picture because I was going to get it off my phone and use it like a replay. Zach Cisco. Comes out there, but he's going wide to the left. Now, this time they'll try it a little different. we got the same formation. It's a version of the muddle huddle. And now we shift, and Cisco will punt the football. Let's see if they send anybody back deep. Their deepest guy is Mac Jackson. And probably a five-yard penalty. It took us just a hair too long. And there is the flag for delay of game. That'll be Jackson Christian's first penalty. And uh, Joan Bird says, Coach Joe, you got to keep them straight for us. We'll try to do it. it it's tough because we've got competition right next to us, no wall. Here's the punt. Signal for a fair catch. and goes down at about the 26-yard line. And that was caught by C.J. Duro, who is a pretty good wide out himself. And uh, second possession for Columbia Academy. This game has a few of the elements of last year's game. We started slow last year and came on right before half as Blake Rowland made a great catch. Or Lance Rowland, Blake's brother, is the one that actually made the catch. He's up at Murray and has been put on the roster of their team up there. C.A. comes out with just a power formation, three running backs in the backfield. Goff hits him first. And then a gain, but I'm going to tell you what now. C.A. is very efficient with their offense. Second down and six, a gain of four. Back to the pistol with Baldwin in the spot. They are signaling their plays in. The H back to the right of their formation. Almost a stack out here to the left of it for wideouts. They're going to give to Baldwin. There wasn't any read. It was just straight. He tries to beat them outside, cuts back, and now he's shifty. He is faster. Lakai Tompkins, we know from TCA, very good running back. This young man's quicker than Lakai. There's an injured player down on the field, and it, I hate to say it, it looks like Kai Wyatt. I hate to see anybody hurt on either team. And uh, it's going to be third and three when we come back. Let's take a 30-second timeout. We'll come back on the Jackson Christian Network.
This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We're back and it is third down and three. And so far the better of the situation. Connor Rawson, the quarterback, wears number five. And they send a man in motion. He cut it close, and there's ball. When he broke tackles, we had a hit at him, and he is down. We got a couple of guys at the bottom of the pile that actually made some of the contact. I think Easton Jones, one of those. And another first down, their third. And they're going to fake. He holds it. Rawson is very efficient at that. They complete it at about the 47, maybe the 48-yard line to Duro. And it is very good yardage for them, so it'll be second and two maybe. One and a half is really closer to accuracy. And this is Baldwin. He gets outside, but what a defense over on the far side. See, Eli Craig looks like Goff was over there and one more young man. So that is a no-gainer. Eight carries for Monte Baldwin. This is third and two. They're going to throw it, and it looked like he completed. It should be spotted at the 50-yard line. It'll be another first down for the Bulldogs of Columbia Academy. Connor Rawson, four for six. First and 10 at the 50. Jackson Christian needing a stop. Slot left, but they send one of the men in motion. And Brownlee cuts across the middle, but they're going for all the marbles to Doro and breaking it up with good defense. Look like Jack Collins. It is Jack Collins. Great defense, Collins. Four for seven. for the passer. Somebody trying to hand me something here. Kind of threw me off my game a little bit. Like I said, not much room to work. This is tighter, as some people say, uh, than a closet built by two by two. Anyway, here's the handoff to Baldwin. Trying to the left side, they pulled the a guard in front of him. He's going to get about five yards on that one. It'll be second, or actually bring it to third and five. We'll get Baldwin's yardage, approximate yardage here in a moment. And he's got 34 yards. Big third and five. Rawson wants to get rid of it. He does, and dancing and getting free, and a great job by Darrell. And he broke a bunch of tackles, and it's up to Blake Rowland to save a touchdown run. And we had good pressure, great pressure. And Rawson just looked and improvised. And another catch for Darrow and another first down. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Sprinting right is Connor Rawson. Pressure front coming from Caleb. He missed, Caleb missed him. He shoots it downfield. He threw it out of bounds, but it's not grounding. That pass, he threw it where nobody could catch it. And I will tell you, very hard to concentrate in this press box right now. Conditions not good. Okay, that one incomplete. And I've got Connor Rawson five for nine. Second and ten, the ball on the 28. They toss it to Baldwin. Baldwin's going to get good yardage. He'll be close. And matter of fact, he's over it and got the first down. No, he did not. I apologize for that. It's going to bring up third down. Ball went a little slow to get up. We hit him pretty hard, but legal. He's got 42 yards, and they've moved the football back a little bit, so his knee actually hit the ground before that. 
Coming into the football game is number 40 for them. Zane Nash, he'll be in ball one spot as the pistol back. Power the formation to the right. Rawson looks to get the signals. We go with three down linemen. Gavin and, of course, Caleb and Cedric. They send a man in short motion, but he's going to set up. It's a running play. You can almost tell. And they broke through there. And um, one of our tacklers was, of course, Robertson, number four. And let's see, they got another first down. And right now they are wearing us out on those running plays. It is first and 10, the ball on the 15. They give to Baldwin. This time he's going to take it all the way to the house. Uh, we didn't lay a glove on him this time, but uh, one of the officials has stopped play. They have not signaled touchdown. So let's see if it's coming back. There could be laundry, yellow laundry on the field. And let's see what it is. A blocking below the waist. That's going to cost... CA some yardage that will bring the touchdown back the down remains the same it'll be second now or actually it'll be first and 15 and I'm wrong let me get it right first and 20 first and 20 Hopefully you're enjoying the audio. I'm a little rusty without the camera and stuff. But again, CA, a a tight trips to the right. They're going to throw. It's like a version of the bubble screen, and they have hit Brownlee, and he's going to get good yardage and get some of that back. And they did a very good job to get that play stopped, and they got actually 11 of those yards back, depending on the spot. Inside handoff and running off left tackle and streaking towards the goal line is Brownlee. He's going to take it 14 and a half yards for the touchdown. Harrison Brownlee, and it's 12 to nothing, and they'll probably go to two. And right now we are not showing any propensity. We'll play. We're playing hard. We just can't stop them. They got the momentum after that fumble. They'll kick the extra point this time. Smith comes on. Mac Jackson, number eight, will hold for him. And we are still in the first quarter with 132. The extra point is up. It looks good. They say it is good. And um, it is now 13 to nothing. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Right now, Columbia Academy looking very good at 13 to nothing. The wheels have kind of fallen off the bus after that fumble on the first possession we had. They have pretty well marched the football down the field. We will stop them, make a good play, and then they'll make a big play. The big plays have all been made by Columbia Academy so far. Easton Jones deepest. Blake Rowland back there. Jack Collins. And they're going to kick, and Blake's going to watch it go out of bounds. They'll throw the flag on it. We'll have a choice of the football at the 35 or have them re-kick. That one was meant to go towards that sideline. They didn't want to kick to Easton Jones then. And I think we'll have them kick it again. Ben Vargason listening, and he'll be watching tomorrow. And we will have the video with audio tomorrow. Today, we're only allowed because of the National Federation to have audio. 
they want to get your money. I mean, that's the bottom line. They can deny it all they want to. I'm an old economics teacher. I know all about that. Smith will tee it up again five yards further back. We'll move up a couple of yards. Easton is the deepest at the 16. Blake rolling close to me. Now looks like that Easton has moved back to about the 13 or 14. They have blue hash marks and things and really not the best to see. You can see the numbers better. You can see their hash marks, and I think some of the lights need redirecting. This one is going to come down. It bounces to Blake Rowland. He starts up the middle, cuts across, and a nice return across the 40. And a good job, and Jackson Christian will have their best field position, but they've got to put more than one first down together here. Ball officially on the 42-yard line. 58 yards away from pay dirt with 125 to go in the first quarter of play. Here's the man in motion to Moss. The jet sweep, and they run him deep. The linebacker 52. Now he, I presume he grabbed the jersey. He grabbed something there. You couldn't tell from here. And it's going to be a big loss for Jackson Christian on the jet sweep. And that one is almost nine yards lost. I've got second, well, they say second and 17, because we'll go with the theirs, because, again, this field not necessarily the best to spot things from. And like I said, a lot of, a lot of interference, including this pole. I'm not having to watch through it right now. Our camera's shooting around it for tomorrow stuff. Austin Kelly under pressure, throws across the middle. Got Daniel Green over the middle, over the 40-yard line of CA and into CA territory at about the 35-yard line if he gets the proper spot. He doesn't. He gets shorted a little bit. But a great catch by Green. And Green with his first catch of the night right over the middle. Good throw. Here is the jet sweep, and it'll get about two yards, a tough two at that. CA defense pretty tough. That was Easton Jones. And the time will probably run out as Jackson Christian would love to talk about it. I don't see Austin trying to hustle us up with about eight seconds. We're going to tell you the score at the end of one quarter of play is the Bulldogs of CA 13, the Jackson Christian Eagles nothing. Let's take a one minute timeout. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state of the art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We are back here on an audio broadcast tonight because of National Federation rules. In one of those Murphy Laws games, we're down 13 to nothing, fumbled on a third down play, and CA took it and punched it in. And then we've had, we've got our third possession right now. And they had a 35 yard drive on that first one. Baldwin and Brownlee have scored. They went for two. 12 minutes to go here. We're ready for second quarter action. Jackson Christian will head towards the south goal. And it is the 34 of Columbia Academy. It's second and eight. And this time, coming around to the left side is Deuce Lawrence. Gets hit at about the 30 and driven back. And we'll see officially what they give him. And if that's where, okay, I was fixing to say, if they had spotted it there, uh, I might have come out of my skin. Deuce picks up. Again, uh, about three tough yards, maybe four. We'll look at it and see, four. It's going to be third down and four. Big possession down. Easton Jones and Deuce Lawrence in the backfield with Kelly. 
We're very tight. No wide outs. They send Blake Rowland in motion. And let's see if Jones got anything on this one. Two yards won't get it done. That's going to bring up fourth down, but this is four down territory trailing 13 to nothing. Just right on the fringe of Zach Sisko range. Elijah DeMoss, number one, the senior backup quarterback, but also a running back and a wide out coming off the soccer injury. Again, the tight formation, a little bit of an inside out. Look at Elijah run. He broke one guy, tried to reach his ankle, and Elijah DeMoss takes it all the way for a first down for Jackson Christian. Their third of the night. 10.51 as he goes out of bounds. And... Uh, The Moss getting that first down. Empty backfield set with a tight end, sprinting left. Throws it down there, and Trent Carey, a great catch, gets it and gets at right at the first down marker. Carrier, great catch, and another first down, four of them. First and goal from the nine. It's a long nine, and... Looks like pads coming out, and maybe a towel, and the official threw them off to the side. Deuce Lawrence in the backfield with Kelly. DeMoss goes in motion. Pull the guard. They got great penetration then, and I, actually it looks like Deuce is going, to, okay, um, I'm going to have to question the officials. You blow the whistle quicker than that, and if action doesn't stop, you throw the yellow handkerchief. So, no gain, so it makes it second goal from the 10. Ten, eleven, and counting left for the Eagles. Second goal from the 10. One man in the backfield, two receivers to the right, a wing back. We pull the guards. Kelly keeps it. He wanted to pitch to someone. He needed a block. And he'll be run out of bounds. Now, he'll get decent yardage, but not. That one looked a little out of sync over on the sideline there. And a nice pickup of five by Austin Kelly. Brings up third goal from the five. Daxon Christian's got two plays to put it in the end zone. Collins right, Carrier right. Green is split out along with DeMoss. DeMoss in motion. They're bringing five people. There's the pass a little bit low to Green. He had to go down to his knees. And uh, some animated defenders for Columbia Academy. It'll be fourth. And goal from the five. We are not kicking the field goal as Easton Jones comes on. Wide side of the field to the left. We've got the play. We'll send three receivers. Empty backfield to the right, two to the left. Send a man in motion. No jet sweep because it's gone too far for that. Kelly back, lofts it up in the air, looking for Easton Jones. Does he have it? Yes. Touchdown, Easton Jones. Five-yarder, great play. Easton Jones went up and got it, and Easton plays baseball, not basketball in the offseason. Second quarter score comes at the 941 mark. Five-yard touchdown pass to Jones, and we've got a new ball game. The extra point is up. It's good, and it is 13-7. We'll be back after a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
no matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We are back here. A great touchdown pass. That was an excellent drive. 58-yard drive that time. Gets Jackson Christian back in the ball game. We needed some momentum. Now, Zach Cisco is going to bring it to the left hash mark. And it looks like they send Baldwin and Brownlee back there. Harrison Brownlee wearing number two and Monte Baldwin. And there is speed to burn back there. And Baldwin's one of those runners that have moves like a hula girl. 9.41 to go in the second quarter. Could be important that that two-point conversion. Now, here's the pooch kick up in the air and uh, trying to run under it. As Brownlee, he was down, and let's see if Jackson Christian may have recovered the football. Had trouble. Brownlee had trouble, or was that ball? No, that was the All-Stater and Mr. Football candidate Brownlee, or I'm sorry, Baldwin. Couldn't get it. Jackson Christian recovered the fumble. We'll find out from Greg Armour who got that one. Now, you've got... Plenty of time here at 9.35 to score here, but what a big morale booster if you could punch it in here quick, and especially striking on the first place. Very psychological play. H-back to the left of the formation. Three receivers to the right. Empty backfield. They'll send a man in motion. Jet sweep coming here. Cutting it back is Deuce Lawrence, and he'll have a short gain. We'll pick that one up in in a moment. We did. We failed to block one man in his penetration. Now, if that flag or that towel keeps coming out, and it uh, the towel rule is kind of weird this year, and the color, they got, of course, they got to pay attention to colors and that. And since they're wearing black and white jerseys, they can wear the white towel, or they can. But everybody has to have the same. It's really a useless rule, but uh, they had to have something to do at the National Federation. H back again. Lawrence back in the backfield with Kelly wide side to the left. Here's the toss to Aldridge or Elijah DeMoss, actually. And not much of a game may have even lost a yard. That was a slow developing play and nothing good happened out of it. We get a good spot out of it. We'll give the officials credit, maybe a six inch gain. And that's going to bring up third and a long eight. Possession down, although we would go for it. But you want to try to do it on third down conversions. Carrier and DeMoss to the right. Empty backfield set. We do have a tight end. Two men are off to the right. Jones and Collins. They bring the rush. Four-man rush. We throw across the middle. And a good defensive job by number 11 for them. That being Cade Jackson. He broke that pass up. And... uh, you know, if you can make connections to Green, who is going to be a UTC signee, he is committed there. Plays first base on the baseball team. And now a big fourth and eight. Jackson Christian going for it. Collins trying to hustle over there. 18 seconds still on the clock. We've got two receivers to each side. Here they come with the jailhouse breaking. It's a screen pass, a middle screen. Easton Jones. Jones is on the loose. He could run all the way to the Murray County Courthouse. He takes it 26 yards, and Easton Jones is the man with the plan right now. The screen was a brilliant call. A middle screen at that, and it looked like a jailbreak coming after our quarterback, Austin Kelly. And what a great call, great execution by our young man from Jackson Christian. It's tied at 13. Cisco on the snap. The kick, it looks good. The officials say it is, and Jackson Christian has roared back to take the lead 14-13. to 13. We're going to take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. 
Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Two fumbles in this game have really affected it. We fumbled early for their first touchdown. They fumbled uh, here late, and we took that one in for a touchdown. And uh, 28-yard drive, I believe, on that one by us. And a great job, and now we've got a white knuckler again at 14-13. Cisco to kick off. It looks like Brownlee. And also Baldwin, Monte Baldwin back deep, and we'll see who the up men are. Not at a good angle. The other young men doing a game here in Columbia has got a better angle on the press box. Going, going, gone. It's a baseball term, but a home run by Zach Sisko, and the ball will be brought out to the 20 for the Columbia Academy Bulldogs. And that is a good defensive weapon. They have 80 yards to go, and the more, uh, the longer you've got to go, the more chance of a mistake on things. I wish I had my little percentage chart, but the now they send a single re- receiver, Mac Jackson, out to the right. But they're giving on the handoff to Ball and trying the left side, and he's found a hole that you could drive a Mac truck through, and he'll be close to a first down if he doesn't have it. Very hard run by him. We had a couple of tacklers over there, and they are going very quickly. It was a nine-yard pickup, and they go right back to him. It's the same play, and he nearly broke this one and holding on and bulldogging him down. And we, it looks like Mason Vaughn. So they pick up another first down, and uh, same formation they're going to pass. Rawson, too much time. He's got a man over the middle. It is complete, and it's a foot race now, and nobody will get him. He will go 46 yards, or actually the ball was on the 46. He'll go 54 yards for the touchdown. Well, they say he was down. I looked down to write it down, and I did not see why they're bringing it back. They say he was down at that point. It's another first down for them. And the ball will be in Jackson Christian territory on the 46, our 46. No, it can't be right. Their scoreboard's wrong. Let's see where the ball is officially plunked down. It's at about our 27-yard line. 7.27 on the clock. Hasn't got my rhythm yet because I'm having to give the score more. And Brown, they pull two guards, and Monte Baldwin uh, pretty well chooses up. Their guards cut a hole that uh, you could drive a Mack truck through. And I've got them with 10 first downs unofficially. Here's Baldwin again bouncing it outside, and we come up good defense. Our corner set it well over there. And I would love to give you the tacklers, but I had to look through the little pole here. You, tomorrow you can see it on the video with sound. Ball went down again. Looks like we got an official timeout. And uh, Jackson Christian gang tackled legally then. Very good tackle. And they brought in 40 again, who played uh, tailback a while ago for them. That's Zane Nash. It looks like a passing situation, and it is Rawson wanting it. He keeps it, going to run for it, and we were in man coverage, and he's going to get down inside the 10 maybe. And, again, I have the worst vantage point. Wished I had the table that the two young men from Columbia have. And another first down, and it also makes it first and goal. Ball went back in there, so he wasn't hurt very bad. 
And the quarterback, Ross, a nice run. They'll send a man in motion, and he'll set up. They're going to try that left side again. Baldwin hits hard and quick. He's got good body lean. See Kai White, Cedric down there. And they say that Baldwin did break the plane, they, although the referee is holding things up a little bit. But they said he did break the plane at the 622 mark. Makes it 1914. The 622 mark in the second quarter. Baldwin, and now let's see what's going to happen. The, they first were going to go for two. Now Columbia Academy changing. Smith has come on. Mac Jackson to hold. Of course, you can run fire out of this if uh, fire is the term, if there's a fumble or something, or you have a play set up, but they're not. They're going to kick it. Kick is up, and it is no good. Off to the left, and it is 19 to 14. And uh, my two young friends next door, uh, I guarantee you the coaches can't hear them. They would love it if he could. And we're going to take a 30-second timeout after that. Hello, folks. This is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. We are back and I see it looks like Mason Vaughn going deepest for us over to the Columbia Academy bench side is Jack Collins. We'll check and see if this is Blake Rowland or who at the closest to our bench. Smith to kick off. Now, he's closer than he was. Watch out for an onside kick here. Well, they didn't onside kick, but they tried to hit a dribbler down through there. Picked up by Collins. Collins, can he get outside? He does. The 45, the 50, 21. And that should have been called a horse collar. And then there's a late hit by 33. By any official's definition, no call. That should have been a late hit on 33. I don't care how soft he did not pull up. And he went ahead and hit him. But we take over. We being Jackson Christian School at the 49 of Columbia Academy needing a score to take the lead back, H back in the spread. And here we throw it out. That one a little high, had Jack Collins, but it was over his head. Jack Collins, the intended receiver, it's second and 10, 557 and counting. Now, when you get it tomorrow, you'll see, and you see it by the time I say 57, it's either 56 or 55. Still five minutes to go. And the clock kept running, and that's what I was going to point out. If you'll watch it, it should have been where I said, and they let at least seven seconds get off of it. And this is supposed to be championship action here and uh, the officials need to keep up with the players the two teams are playing great the umpire places it and now they are ready to play they shift green daniel green to the right they go pull the guards go straight up the middle deuce makes a couple of people miss he gets about three maybe four depending on where they spot the football for him now couple of Bulldogs in on that play to make the tackle. 52 seemed to be at the bottom of that pile. That is Gabriel Sapicki. We told you about him as a player to watch earlier. I think he kind of got hurt as the play kind of rolled over him as he grabbed ankles and stuff. Third down, seven. Big play coming up for Jackson Christian. Two receivers to the right. H back to the left in motion. We get 
One man block, but they flush Austin Kelly out. He throws it up in the air. Is it a catch? They say Mason Vaughn has the sure hands at the 21-yard line. 25-yard pickup for Vaughn. And a first down, the fifth one. Here comes Easton Jones in for Deuce, trying to keep fresh running backs in there. Mason Vaughn with a big catch, and you know he's got great hands. Plays basketball, he plays golf. Good at hand-eye coordination, and it is first and 10 on the 21 of Columbia Academy. Five minutes to go, a little over five minutes, and we fake the toss and go straight up the middle into the A-gap. If there is any gain, it's very minimal that time. Good penetration by Sapicki got through there, and a couple of others could not get their numbers. And they say it is officially no gain. I thought maybe he got, well, he did get an inch out of it, inch or two. It's going to be basically second and ten, might as well be. Collins come on in that. He has to go all the way out there. It'll be a late substitution. They're going to move Vaughn out. We're legal. 11 seconds on the play clock. Now we've got to take a timeout. Jackson Christian takes a timeout. We'll take a timeout and be back in one minute. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Second and 10 for Jackson Christian. They're on the CA 21 yard line looking to put a score. Trips left. H back is to the left of the formation. Play he is just now getting signaled in. Four men will definitely rush. Let's see if they bring four off the corner for CA. They fake, they throw out quick to Elijah DeMoss. He got some yardage, not what he wanted. But he, if he had had one more step, he might have been gone. Well, number one, DeMoss. And we've got an injured player on the play. But six for 12 unofficially for Kelly. It's third down and about two. We send trips right, carrier, DeMoss. And it's more of a stack than trips. In the backfield is Deuce Lawrence. We're going to give it to him. And he breaks through the B gap after a guard pulled and kicked a man out. Good block by Daniel Green on a man there too. And the deuce is on the loose for another Jackson Christian first down. We'll get official stats from Greg Armour. Remind you, you're only getting audio because the National Federation is afraid that we might do it better than them. It's a monopoly. Governmental monopoly to some degree. Hopefully someday somebody will challenge them. Court out in Oklahoma, they've had some action on that. Good handoff, but they caved us in a little bit. We had some decent blocks, say Tristan Nash. And another. Now one young man won't let Tristan go. Now come on, officials, step in there and do something. Preventative officiating. Daniel Green ready to be enforcer. He's got a cool head, though. He's not doing anything illegal. And uh, gain of one, it'll make it second down and nine. The ball is on the nine. And actually, we should say second and goal from the nine because we cannot get a first down. Carrier and Vaughn, who had that big catch while ago, go to the right. DeMoss working by himself to the left, still in the spread. We pull the guards. Deuce wants to cut up, but... 
Their number 40 is getting good penetration and into our backfield. And that young man is Zane Nash, and give him credit. Now there comes a flag down. Two flags are down. And I think the Columbia Academy coach might have bought too much real estate out on the field that time. And maybe, of course, these penalties, you won't get the full 15. They'll talk it over. And a, this sometimes there's two penalties. Let's see what the official signals. Sideline infraction for one thing, and now the, we have Columbia Academy has taken a timeout. And the sideline uh, infraction, uh, wow, that doesn't impress me. We're going to keep it here, Gary, because that's uh, uh, actually I thought as far out on the field he was, they had gotten him for being out on the field. So did my colleagues to the left with the Columbia radio station. Interesting lack of call. It is third and goal from the nine. And uh, this is where the officials need to do preventative officiating. You go to the huddles of both teams and say, gentlemen, we're here to play football. And if we have to send you to the house, if you can't play football, let's block and tackle. And you say, let the officials officiate, let the players play, and gentlemen, let the coaches coach, and let's keep it clean. If they don't understand that, then you start flagging and tossing people. Two plays to get nine yards because it's third and goal from the nine at two minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Green comes out, and we'll see if he's at H-back or tight end. Carrier looks like he's going to be the H-back, Green the tight end. Two backs in the backfield, DeMoss and Lawrence. And now there's we drop the football. Austin Kelly's got to do something with it. And let's see, and he throws one in the general direction. I don't know if there's condensation on the football, but Zach Sisko's going to come on to try. And this is in his field goal range. He has kicked them much longer than this. The ball's on the nine. They'll plunk it down on the... 16 or 17, add 10 of the end zone. Looks like the 16, so it's a 26-yard kick from the left hash mark. The official stops the action, and they're still running the clock again. This is a very interesting clock up here. It runs many times when it's not supposed to, but somebody's got their finger on the button. They're asking for a reset and putting some time back, but I have no patience with this type of clock operation, and it's not the clock's fault. It's whoever's got their finger on the button. Zach Sisko, left hash mark. Now kind of a severe angle here. I'd love to have seen it in the middle or on the right hash mark, well within Zach's range. 26-yard kick, looks good, and the officials say it is good, and it brings Jackson Christian to within two at 19-17. We'll take a 30-second timeout and come back. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus, over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Now, we went to break, and we know there was a penalty, but I can tell you, having coached this game before, the penalty for roughing the kicker will be assessed on the kickoff. That's the way you kick it, so we did not stay with it. It is still 19-14, 2-19 left before halftime. Eagles trailing by two, but well in this ball game, making some big plays. Early, we didn't make the big plays. Zach Sisko's okay. He brings the foot, his kicking football out there, which each team has a football they like to kick. And no, it's not like some places. Down Mississippi, some of the teams uh, that year I was down there learned used to put helium in their kicking football with Columbia Academy and Jackson Christian neither one have helium in their football 
but it is interesting. Baldwin will be one of the two deep men. Brownlee will be the other. Cisco hit it deep in the end zone the last time. Let's see what he does. He's kicked each time a different style kick. Now he's got the motion that he wants to kick it high and deep. And Brownlee will get it at about the two, and he'll try a middle return, then breaks it out to the side. We stayed in our lanes, and getting underneath is Carlos Robertson. He had some help, but Carlos with a great tackle. And CA will go over to their sideline very quick, get the play from their coach, and probably come straight to the line of scrimmage. But the ball on their own 21-yard line. Great coverage by the Eagles. Bulldogs with that gigantic offensive line. Most of their guys are Cedric Anderson's size. And we've played better defense. They send Jackson out wide to the right of their formation. Two receivers to the left. They got an H-back with Rawson in the backfield giving to the great running back, Monte Baldwin, and we string him out, set him, he reverses, gets some yardage. But I would say we have about 10 men over there that could introduce themselves to Monte Baldwin. Clock continues to run. It'll be second down, a loss of maybe a half yard. Official stats coming from Greg Armour at halftime. Second and almost 11. Now, we got a little confusion, but they run the ball left side. They've been able to run to their left side quite well. Good pickup by Baldwin. They will either pull one or two guards and try that, what I call the C gap. It used to be the six hole in the old numbering system where one, three, five, and seven was to one side and two, four, six, and eight were to the other side, but now they call them gaps. Third down coming, third and about four. They hand off to Baldwin again, and he gets good yardage. We had a, he broke a tackle, and again, they'll get a first down out of this. They have done well at their first downs. I've got them with 13. We'll get the official count. Very quickly to the line of scrimmage. Both teams were running huddle up off or hurry up offenses. Rawson's going to keep it. He tries to stiff arm Eli Craig, and he's probably going to get 10, maybe 11 yards and get his first down, go out of bounds with 42 seconds. Let's see where they put the football down. Rawson did get out of bounds. It is another first down. Now, they have dominated the first down situation. Clock arrested at 42 seconds. Columbia Academy, two-point lead. They're on their own 45, wide side of the field to their left. They send a slow motion. It's going to be a running play that left side where they've got us outnumbered and into the backfield. And he's tough. If you don't get a good lock on him, he's tough to handle. It'll be close to a first down. We drive him back with a host of tacklers. That is Baldwin. Unofficially, he's got 18 carries. And they give him another first down. They got a generous spot that time. Rawson wants to throw. He's got a man deep. They pushed off. Did we intercept? Yes, we intercepted. Jackson Christian. Let's see if we can keep an eye on that. And we will see who got the interception. Looked like Jack Collins. We'll double check it with Gary. And that stops their penetration. And we've got... 24.3 24.3 seconds to do something with. Jackson Christian, 88 yards away from a touchdown. They just want to maintain possession, not turn it over here. Probably be happy to go to the house. I see Mason Vaughn come out there, along with Deuce Lawrence Green. Maybe Carrier to the far side. Didn't see his number. Kelly in the backfield. It's the jet sweep. We pull a guard out in front. Ty Smith looks. Got one block. We needed two, though. And will time run out and us not try another play? Pickup of about seven. 
And that will pretty well in the half. I don't think we'll try to get another one off. Three, two, one, halftime. Jackson Christian trailing by two, but what a valiant comeback. CA Bulldogs 19, Jackson Christian 17. We're going to take a three-minute timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest, greatest. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. 
It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned too. Luxury vehicles. BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. 
Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. And we are back here for halftime stats. The official statistician, Greg Armour, is here. And Greg, I'm a, what's the statistical picture? I, we, you know, after a rough start, fumbling that one on the first time we had it, we've come back and played some good offensive football. We had, Joe. All right, for Jackson Christian, we had six first downs in the passing department. Austin Kelly attempted 15, completed eight for 108 yards and two TDs. Uh, Aust uh, Easton Jones has two for 31 yards and two TDs. Uh, Daniel Green has one for 29. Trent Carey has two for 15. And Elijah Jamal's has two for eight. In the rushing department, we rushed 20 times for 61 yards. Deuce Lawrence has tw 25 yards. Elijah DeMoss has six carries for 28 yards. Easton Jones has four carries for 15 yards. We punted once for 30 yards. We had one penalty for five yards. Uh, we had one field goal by Zach Sisko of 27 yards. All right, for Columbia Academy. They had 12 first downs. In the passing department, the quarterback attempted, Rawson attempted 11, completed seven for 83 yards and one interception. His leading receiver was number two. He had four catches for 56 yards. In the rushing department, they rushed 24 times for 133 yards. Leading rusher was number three. He had 20 carries for 108 yards. Uh, number five had two for 21. Number 40 had one for five. And number two had one for 10. They did not punt. They had three penalties for 30 yards. Wow. The uh, fumble that we had, but we came back later. We recovered our own we or their fumble. Who got on that one? I did not get a uh, number. I could not. Well, you're like me. Right, We're going to have uh, to look at the film. Yeah. And folks can watch this game. We're doing audio only tonight, and we appreciate listeners. After 24 hours, we can do that. Now, that was that Jack Collins that got the interception? Jack Collins got the interception, yes. Sometimes looking through this, you, you, yep. Greg yep. will vouch. I'm having to look through a big old beam here sometimes. You don't get to see that stuff. But Jack with the interception and a, a great job. Greg, statistically, anything standing out other than they have dominated the first down department? Yeah, they, they have dominated the first down department. Uh, but, you know, uh, we're only two points behind at halftime. We just got to come out and uh, stop their running game, and um, you know. Well, they've seemed to had some success with ball and trying to. I call it the C gap to the left side. That's correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, both sets of coaches making adjustments. Um, we need a little more time of possession. Keep the ball away from Baldwin, and their passer, Connor Rawson, seems to be uh, doing a pretty good job. He's. Their passing game is probably better than some of them we faced this year, except for Patterson. Yeah, I, th I would say his, their passing game is uh, is pretty much, you know, of, of what we've seen this year. Yeah. But you know what makes a difference? Monte Baldwin. Some of those teams don't have a Monte Baldwin. That's, in the, that's true. That's true. Anything else that you see or things that the fans need to, and especially tomorrow when you're watching it, and I'll try to give you the description. Not used to giving the time because I don't have to at home because, or when we're on the road normally in the National Federation because we got the power eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Now that you know, we just got to come out in the second half and and dominate the line of scrimmage, you know, and uh, keep their uh, running backs from getting any yardage and just put some pressure on them. And then offensive wise, we just got to uh, get the running game going just a little more and. Uh, our passing is there. Tell you what, they've got a huge offensive line over there. I don't. What's the smallest guy? About two fifty. I think so. Yeah, they. Uh, but our kids have fought. They have done well, and we clawed back because at thirteen to nothing, and uh, you know we look like we're going to have one of those games like we did up at Good Pasture, Murphy's Law in the first half. We clawed back into this thing and are just down two. That's correct. You know. Uh, uh, they get the ball coming out the first half, at second half. So we just got to. Uh, 
have them go three and out. Well, three and out or either let's recover a fumble or maybe Jack or Mo, uh, Mason Vaughn. And, oh, Mason made a big catch over here. Mason on the side. Had, yes, Mason Mason had a big catch. Uh, yes, he did. I've, uh, I've, uh, I failed to mention that. Sorry. He had a catch, uh, one catch for 25 yards. And it was a big one, came at the right one. time. Right. Mm -hmm. He sure did. Let me ask you your thoughts on this before we take a break, and I'll give you a final statement. Do you think there's a little moisture on the football out there? There could be just a little bit of moisture. The field's in good shape. Uh, yeah. You know, they're kind of like us. They didn't get as much rain as what they we, they thought that we was going to get. So, I mean, the field's in good shape. Now, well, I only saw one divot over here, but – some reason I, I see a little on both sides. They're handling the ball except for the fumbles, and then uh, Austin had a little trouble in that uh, last uh, scoring drive with one play where the ball didn't, and he wound up doing. He was wise and did the right thing, but I'm wanting to think there may be a little moisture with the temperature like it is forming on that football. There, there could be at this time of night, Joe. Anything you want to say to the fans that they should watch? Because now Greg's there. He's at practice. He helps with the drills and things like that, besides being the official stat man. He's the eye for Jackson Christian School. But it's your turn, Greg. I just want the people to uh, watch this game when uh, in 24 hours and just watch, you know, uh, our defensive line is doing a good job. We just got to extend it just a little bit more. Absolutely. And uh, they, uh, we will – come out do a good job let's take a time out and when we come back it'll be close to action time with 348 left on the clock the best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice order it through your phone while you're sitting there and then you go and pick it up but you're much more of a planner than me i am and that's what i love about you yes you know i'm not that prepared it's more seat of my pants downtown is thriving and the blacksmith restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all.
We are back, and Joan Bird, thank you for staying with us because you're going to get a home call, first of all, if they've even got an announcer. Some of the National Federation films have no announcer. I think they do here at CA. Let me give you some scores very quick. Haywood leading Millington 27-12 to at halftime. Dyersburg only 7-3 to over Westview at halftime. That one a little surprising. Covington leads 21-6 to over Ripley. Let's see if we can get closer to home. Union City leading Mace in the third quarter, 14-6. to Dyer County, some people would say this would be an upset. I did not pick them to win. Dyer County 26-14 over Melrose at Melrose. Baylor has beaten Christian Brothers in Division Two, 49-7 tonight. North Point Christian getting beat up by Boyd Buchanan, 28-3 in the fourth quarter. FACS and Middle Tennessee Christian have not given a score. CPA is beating USJ 41-3. to uh, That one is uh, getting a little out of hand. Franklin Road 36-9 over Webb. And we do not have a TCA in Nashville Christian score. Maybe Paul Schultze or Gary or somebody can get us one of those, and we'll see. We are just about, they put two minutes, a little over two minutes, for both teams to loosen up. And everybody trying to get stretched out good. It is a cool night here in Columbia, Tennessee. 51 degrees, but it feels a little cooler than that. And before this contest is over, it will be down to at least 50, maybe 49. Uh, All the rain left out this morning, so no problem there. And Joan Bird said, I did find find where we could purchase the game, but – I'm going to stay faithful to Coach Joe. We appreciate it. Plus, you'd be wasting your 1199. You get to see it tomorrow. After 24 hours after this game, Paul can post it. I know it'll be on Worthy Road Studios' YouTube page, and I believe it's supposed to be posted on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. Nancy Taylor Wallop said, let's go Eagles. Anthony Sampson is watching. And also, uh, General Sports says, go. Brittany Elise Beckham, let's go Blue. Jim Roberts, let's go Eagles. Joan Bird says, yes, they are. Grant Boykin is watching. I bet Gage is watching somewhere, too. Deanna, Galena, Craig, Eagles are flying. We we got to going. We were kind of grounded early. And Alyssa Culver, Henry, let's go Eagles. Brenda, Connor, and Nicholas love those Eagles. Don Bird's got a bunch of hands there. And uh, Jennifer and Brent Blankenship, Valerie Porter, they say NFHS, they're ripping you off, and uh, they're the one reason you can't get your own home broadcast. So, um, anyway, uh, I wouldn't waste my money. I had a subscription half the time. All it does is reboot. Joan Bird, Eagles are going to win, I believe. And Joan Bird says, yes, Valerie Porter. I'm looking for it, too. And uh, it's not uh, whoever this is, Valerie, it's not worth it. Uh, you can watch it tomorrow and watch it good. We are just about out of time as far as halftime. Maurice Lawrence, good deal, Carlos. Yes, it was. And uh, we're trying to catch up. Jimmy Wright, great job, Coach. Well, we start struggled early because I'm not, not used to doing the old radio broadcast anymore. Sarah Woods Jackson has written us. Katie Hooper. And, again, Brittany Elise Beckham. Chip Graves. Hey, Chip is watching. Chip uh, and I used to all live out on old Henderson Road. Shane Sisko is watching. Larry Forsythe is watching. Krista Powell Irvin, Zachary Braswell, and uh, several of our people have written us more than once. Elaine Gurley Woods watching. Andrea Richardson. Amy Pipkin Groves. Michael Yarbrough, I know that young man. Amy Pipkin Graves and Haley Myers. And let's see if we got any new one. Amy Pipkin Groves. I may have said Graves while ago. Scott Gatlin, always good to have great Scott Gatlin watching. Cisco ready to kick off. And hopefully we can get some of my wife, Susan Holloway, watching. Sonny Witherspoon watching. We know Ben Vargerson's watching, too. Lee Hooper and uh, Alyssa Culver. And uh, here we go. We'll have the stream tomorrow live. You get in the audio tonight. And we apologize. It's not our choice. Here's Cisco kicking off. This one's going to be one of those bounders. Takes a couple of hops. It's picked up. Looked like Brownlee. No, they actually have Doro back there wearing one. He made a good move, but we took it for a second. And then we had a tackler 
fall in there and make a great tackle. That being number 53, that's Hunter Waldrop. Good job, Hunter. And it's now up to the Eagle defense. I see Caleb is out there. Gavin is out there. Cedric, Carrier, Goff, Eli Craig, Kai White. Let's see who is deep back here. Usually in the Eagle position, it is. Now that's Roland there, Easton Jones. Now Robertson comes in. They've got a stack out to the left of their formation. That means two receivers stacked. Wide out to the right. You know that Baldwin's in there, and they send a man in motion, and they like to curl him up, and they get that extra blocker. Somebody fuss got penetration. It may have been Gavin. And he did a great job getting penetration and getting in there. Baldwin had 108 yards. Gavin Walker, the junior. Now I think he had 20 carries. Half-yard pickup, maybe. Second down, nine and three-quarters. They try Baldwin left side again. They had good blocking, and he broke a tackle and looked like Blake Rowland made the stop at about the 35. It's going to be third and two. And to me, it looks like a third and short two. But they've really worked the left side of their line hard and worked us over at the they're going to throw the quick toss out there. It's complete. Yes, they'll get the first down, but we defended well. It could have been big yardage for them. Eight for 12 now for their quarterback. And another first down. That'll be their 13th first down of the night. Rawson handoff ball when broke tackles, and I see a flag coming. Usually when the umpire throws it, it's going to either be a hold or you get somebody may have grabbed his face mask. Hopefully I didn't see it, but let's see what is happening. The white hat walks away so he can make the call, and it is a hold. We're not looking at the white hat like we normally are. Now, he signaled it was against us, the hold. I think they've got to talk a little bit, and if it is, maybe they get, they did get us for the penalty. Wow. So another first down, the 14th one. Well, I was guessing it was a hold. That, that is, uh, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. It is first and 10 at the Jackson Christian 38, and we're not getting any breaks, folks. Fake, here is Rawson under pressure, throws it out there. He's got a man, and they had us beaten then. It was overthrown in the end zone, so that'll bring up second and 10. Connor Rawson now 8 for 13 passing, and it second and 10, a ball on the Jackson Christian 38, wide side of the field to the right. 10.30 to go in the third quarter of play. Phil Lewis says go Eagles. Wesley Freeman is watching, just now getting some of the early ones. And try, they try the left side again. Good job by the defense of Jackson Christian. And let's see if they're going, what is going to happen. It'll be third and 10. I smell pass play coming up. They'll f probably fake the ball one. Connor Rawson asking for clarification from the sideline. 12 still on the play clock. Stacked receivers to the left. A little motion. Well, they're going to try ball one anyway, left side, and he shoots through there. He's going to be short of a first down, but they are in four down territory. Looks like six, seven, about seven. Wow. So it's really, if you get into halves, it's fourth and two and a half. And will they play Riverboat Gambler? I give it to Baldwin if I'm coaching for them. And we've got to shut the gaps down and get some penetration. Can't let him bounce it outside. And they shift over, and they caught us off guard. The 
H-back took the snap and gets the first down. That was number 11 running the football, Cade Jackson. 15 first downs for them. Good trick play. We've used them too. They, we, they pull their guard ball. And, and this time, uh, Goff got him early. We'll see if we can pick up who helped. Trying that left side again. They really like running to the left side of their line. Of course, they've got some big young men over there. Jackson Christian, it's only a one-yard gain for ball, and he's now carried it 25 times. Remember, Lakai Tompkins carried it 53 in that game with TCA. Pass play here as Rawson dumps it. Nobody picked up the back out of the backfield. We'll tackle him, but he got a decent gain there. And a tackle by Easton Jones. Third and a short one. And they're going to toss it to ball and let him try to get outside. He cuts it up. He gets that yardage, breaks a tackle, and he is going to take it and go 24 yards for the touchdown. And didn't lock up on him. 8.25 to go in the third quarter, 24 yards. Baldwin, a nice drive by them. They took it 75 yards on that drive for the touchdown. They are up right now. And let's see if they go for two, and they are. They're going for two. They've sent their offense or kept them back out on the field. It's 25-17. They have an eight-point lead right here. They want to make it a 10-point lead. And now the the officials, gentlemen, you, you have to talk to the teams. you got to do the preventive officiating. Again, this is very, very interesting. Uh, I had folks that are new to our broadcast I have officiated for. It's been a long time, and I'm not always right either, but I know about keeping control of games. I mean, as a coach, you, you learn that about – you can keep control of the game. Brownlee in there at quarterback, and he's just going to flat run it, and let's see what they get. He does get there. We didn't put a glove on him. And so that makes it 27 to 17. A 10 point lead. We'll take a 30 second timeout with CA leading Jackson Christian 27 17. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Nice drive by C.A. Uh, we had a couple of times that they had some holes, but then we played some great defense. Almost imperative that we answer with a score here, 8.20 to go in the third quarter. This is the audio broadcast. We appreciate all of y'all that are with us. You'll be able to see the video in 24 hours after this game ends, and they're going to try a squibber. And we want it onside, and it gets by us. It goes out of bounds. Or at least we think it went out of bounds. Let's see what the official does with the mark. The uh, Jackson Christian, I know my comrades to the left think that that's great field position. We had recovered it before it got by us. It would have been even better field position. First and 10 from the 38-yard line, our own 38. Needing to put points on the board at 819. Kelly and Lawrence in the backfield. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Pull the guards, and they got too good a penetration that time, and uh, we're going to lose some yardage. And 
And uh, number six for them, Missile, came through there like a missile. And it was only a loss of one, so we got a favorable spot. spot. Slot right, we carry her in the slot, stack to the left. We pull the guards again, throw out here to DeMoss. He gets by one set of tacklers. They had that one well defended in a great individual effort by DeMoss. Got some positive yardage. That's Kelly's first pass in the second half. He had eight for 15 for 108 yards and two touchdown passes. Third down, and they say, uh, well, we gained some because of the loss. So it's third and 10, wide side of the field to the right. Very tight formation. Two backs in the backfield. The H-back switches side carry. They send DeMoss in motion, looking for him in the flat. We throw deep. It's double covered, and it looks like CA has come up with the interception. And they intercepted at their own 36, and that was Darrow with the interception. Darrow gets the interception for them, and CA gets excellent field position. Now, Jackson Christian, my old baseball coach, used to say you got to bow your back. Well, sometimes you have to bow your back in football. I do not see Jack Collins out on the field right now. We probably need to check it out. Roberson in there. Vaughn at safety. The Eagle is Easton Jones. Blake Rowland in the secondary as the strong safety. He's a one-high safety right now. The H-back shifts to the left. They're going left. Here's Baldwin. He breaks through the first line, and only Blake Rowland, well, we got he slowed him up enough and broke another set of tackle. And... Um, here is a move by Baldwin as he makes a spin move, and Trent Carrier puts him to the ground, but a nice run by Baldwin. And we let him break some tackles, and it'll be first and goal. Great pickup and a great run by him, and he gets through that hole quick. H back to the right on a first and goal. They try the left side again. Here's Baldwin. Uh, Roland hit him, then some other Eagles, but he's going to be close to the goal line. He did not make it, but positive yardage. Second and goal was 7-19 to go in the third quarter of play. Looks like about a yard and a half. Spot of the stake could be a little bit different. Now, CA will try to spread Jackson Christian out. I look for him to try ball one right up the C gap, maybe the B to the left side, although the strength is to the right. It is the left side, as I predicted. Did ball one make the two? And they. Now one official says touchdown, the other one's a uh, very inconsistent officiating crew. They're signals, and they're not going to talk about it. It's, uh, well, we've got nothing now. Uh, one yard gain, let's hold it to that. Very inconsistent officiating. And gentlemen, y'all have got to get together down there. It is goal to go from the one, third down and one. Got to get penetration and get into those gaps. They're going to try the shift sneak again. 11 with the sneak, and they said this time he did get it. Touchdown by Cade Jackson. What they do is they shift the F back over there or the H back. And they'll bring the kicker on this time at the 6.04 mark. Kate Jackson for a yard and the touchdown is 33-17. Holding is Mac Jackson. The kicker is Smith. And the up 
and the officials say it's good, so it is 34-17 with CA leading. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731 we are back here and uh, that time after an interception they turned it into points they being Columbia Academy let's see if Smith is kicking or if someone else is kicking I see Easton Jones back Mason Vaughn have not seen Jack Collins in uh, several plays now we hope he's not injured. It's 34-17, 6.04 to go in the third quarter, and we've got a lot to do to catch up. And let's see. Look, it does not look like, is that Smith? We'll see. Here's another one of those dribblers through there, and all kinds of flags flies. It looked like somebody was offside. Yeah, a little early by their pursuers. Cost them five. So we'll come up. They'll kick it from the 35. We'll come up to the 45 with our front wall. You have to be awake for the dribbler, the onside kick, and sometimes a very talented kicker can kick a line drive. We've had that happen to us. That one, I think, was by accident, though, that hit us in the earlier season game. Still plenty of time to put the same amount of points on and get this thing tied back up or take the lead, but very important series coming up. No, we've got to come up. There we go. There we go. Officials got it right that time. Come up. It's kicked from the 35. Isaac Smith in this quarterfinal game. Sammies will be next week. The winner of this contest will play the winner of FACS in Middle Tennessee Christian again. Here's one to Big Hop. And we did not get on it. Now we get back on it and there's a scramble. Let's see who came up with it. Uh, that's one of those where you really want to catch it in the air. Now we're signaling we have it. There's a wrestling match at the bottom of the pile. And we've got a couple of people signaling, but I'm not going to bet on anything. Not impressed with the inconsistent officiating. And it's for both teams. I'm not saying it's one side. It's just not good. These are supposed to be the best. And I'm sure that there are defenders say, oh, it's just little mistakes. No, it's a lot of you. You want to come out and be consistent. The coaches cry, both football, basketball, even baseball on the strike zone. First and 10 from our own 42. They fake to Lawrence, and boy, where they got through, and it looked like a jailbreak coming. Did Carrier hold on to it? And one official says no, he did not hold on to it. Would have liked to have seen it if we'd had a little more time to throw it. And it'll be second and 10 from the 42. Kelly now 9 for 14 is what I have unofficially. Greg gave you some official stats, and we'll get those from him. Trips left, three, those three there, the H-back. We send Lawrence in motion on the jet sweep. And he's going to get to the 30, 45, actually. I don't know why I said 35 because we were at the 42. Pickup of about three by Deuce Lawrence. And let me restate. I can't read. I've got so little room here. It's 9 for 18. Three-yard gain by Lawrence, and it's going to be 
a third and seven and a half, maybe eight. Sprinting left is Kelly. We didn't hold our block. We've got to throw it underneath. It's going to be short of the first down, but a good catch. And it's good to see Jack Collins back out on the field. Not sure about the, when you see the tape tomorrow, watch, watch the replay once Paul posts them. That is questionable. Fourth and two. They fake to Lawrence. They throw to Jack Collins. Can he get there? He's broken the plane. And, okay, they're a little extra. And with him out of bounds like that, these officials are starting to lose control of this game. Eleven for twenty now. Another first down for Jackson Christian. Just their seventh. Here's Deuce Lawrence, and they've got us outnumbered at the point of attack at the 45 of Columbia Academy. They are getting too good a penetration, and our offensive line has got to. Uh, you can't just chip block. You've got to get a good solid block, turn them and drive them, uh, especially on that running play. Two receivers to the right, an H-back with a tight end that's going to shift strong side, and they go strong side, weak side as they put their weak side linebacker over here. A lot of pushing and shoving in there, carry to the 40-yard line, five-yard pickup, and it'll bring up third down. Deuce Lawrence, and the guards got out there good, much better blocking that time. Third and a long five is what they're saying. Wow. They put his knee down. I, I don't agree with the spot. You can check it on the video tomorrow with voice. Trips left, meaning three receivers to the left. Deuce Lawrence, the only man in the backfield. They're bringing one of the outside people. Here's Kelly throwing, throwing. He's got Aldridge at about the 26. He spins to the 24 for a first down, a 26-yard pickup. Twelve for twenty-three, and the eighth first down. Lawrence out. Easton Jones in. Carrier will go to the right. Demoss to the right. Jack Collins to the right. Green the tight end to the left of the formation. They're going to bring four. One stand up. They, again, they got penetration in the gap. Easton Jones goes up and like a basketball player has pulled another one down at about the eight yard line. Easton Jones playing big tonight. And we get the ninth first down. And give Jones credit. Here's a running play. And uh, again, officials I think I might want to step in. Makes it second and goal from the five, I believe. We'll make sure second goal from the five. Sorry about that little cough. Well, it's second goal from the five, 225 to go in the third quarter. Carry the H back. They send a man in motion. They give to Lawrence. He's dancing. He's dancing. He gets close, but he is short of the goal line. It'll bring up third down. It is third and goal. Looks like about two yards away, two healthy yards away. Eagles have got to use all four downs to try to score. Carrier will get up to the line to the left. He and DeMoss. Jack Collins to the right. 20 seconds on the play clock. 146 and counting. Here's the snap. And did we get the touchdown? The ace have signal. Touchdown, Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian with a touchdown. And let's see if we're going for two. No. Scoring here at the third quarter with the 139 mark. Cisco on for the extra point. It looks good. The officials say it is good. 
It is 34-24. We are back to within 10. Let's take a 30-second timeout. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We are back. Great drive by Jackson Christian. They went 62 yards on that drive. Scored on a two-yard plunge there. And Zach Cisco to kick off. It says, does the Ballards and Coach Landale know? They've been gone for two years now. Uh, this came from Christy Powell Irving, Rachel Lynn Sykes, anyone else not able to watch it. We cannot do video because the National Federation, it will be archived and on tomorrow night. They're going to fair catch, and that's a smart move at their own 38th for Columbia Academy. Good coverage by our young men. And it'll be first and 10, uh, they say, on the 37 now. But uh, that's kind of what's happening. We have audio tonight. Tomorrow it will be video after it's archived, 24 hours before. Wish some of y'all were there. David Ross is watching, Jimmy Wright, Nancy Taylor, Walter, three other people watching. Well, we're listening good tonight. Watch it tomorrow. They give – or fake. They fake me off. Nice long pass. They got a man open. If he catches it, he is gone. Beat us on the coverage over there. And let's see who it is. That is Darrow. And they strike quickly at the 127 mark. And just outran us over there. Darrow did on the pass. And that pass, 62 yards. And there was no way to catch that young man. Good thrown ball by Connor Rawson. Good catch by C.J. Darrow, and I believe that's his right initial, C.J. Darrow, who is a senior. And Smith on to attempt the extra point at 40 to 24. Let's see what happens. There's the snap. The kick is up. It looks good. It's 41-24, and Jackson Christian will have to score very quickly. Let's take a 30-second timeout on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Wow, the last thing we needed to happen was CA, Columbia Academy, to strike that quickly on a 62-yard bomb. Great fake to Baldwin, and some people bit on it, but... Uh, Darrow, a very fast young man, and you know what, we all think about Brownlee because we know of him from last year, but Darrow, outstanding receiver. Now we've got to answer just as quickly. 127 left in this third quarter. Another one of those odd kicks. We fall on it at about our 38-yard line, and that's where Jackson Christian will start their offense. It's also where we started the last possession. Very cool night, about 49 degrees right now. And we keep reminding you, we will have the uh, video and audio replay tomorrow. And like I told you earlier, uh, very, very poor uh, timing, I don't, and it's not the clock. It's It's got to be the guy that's punching the buttons. If not, you go upstairs and you run it from upstairs. A lot of inconsistencies. And I'll explain the video situation. 
Short toss to DeMoss. He needs two blocks. He got one, but he made a nice move on his own and gets the ball across the 45. Looks like it's short of the first down. Good question here. With it being the playoffs, when you're at home, you don't have to be a National Federation team. And uh, But the, if you go to a National Federation school, they want to keep the video out so you can't see it. They want to force you to buy the 1199 plus taxes. Here's Deuce Lawrence. Looks like he's got the first down. He is appended, and, boy, Daniel Green held a block. It was legal. He took the man all the way down the field about 10 yards. And it'll be first down on the carry by Deuce Lawrence. 107 and counting. Tenth first down for Jackson Christian. Trips right. Collins up on the line. DeMoss off the line. Straight ahead, the A-gap. Deuce Lawrence keeps his balance and gets across the 45 for approximately a six-yard gain. And now there's a lot of... I'm telling you, the officials are the ones that have let this game get out of hand. They don't need to blame the kids. Now, you got to penalize the kids when stuff like that happens. But they don't need to blame the kids because they've not done their job with preventive officiating. 29 seconds. Jackson Christian will probably run one more play. Yeah, they'll have to because the play clock's at 18. There's 23 seconds. So a differential of approximately five seconds. Now the play clock has... Well, it got reset, so they do not have to run it, but they're going to. Second down and four after that six-yard pickup. Lawrence in motion, faking the jet sweep. We didn't get the end block, but a nice pass to Jack Collins, who will get the first down. 21 for them, tries to tackle the football as the quarter comes to an end with the Columbia Academy Bulldogs leading 41 to Jackson Christian Eagles 24. Let's take a 30 second timeout. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. We are back. 12 minutes of football left in this season for one of these teams. Right now, the Columbia Academy Bulldogs have a commanding 41-24 lead, but Jackson Christian driving. They have the ball first and 10 on the 37-yard line. And we switch ends of the field. Jackson Christian will be going to the north. And Columbia Academy will head to the south when they get the football back. But right now it belongs to the Eagles of Jackson Christian who really need to put a touchdown on here very quickly, get the game back to 10. Nice pass to Jack Collins by Austin Kelly on the last one. CA getting more line penetration than I'd like to see. Maybe we tighten the splits. I can't tell from up here, and I know the coaches have some answers. We just got to execute. Flushed out of the pocket. Kelly beats one man. Got to get rid of the football. He does in and out of the hands of our receiver, Jack Collins, and in and out of the hands of their defender, Mac Jackson. And all that means it's incomplete, and we'll do it again. Fifteen for... 24 if my stats are correct for Austin Kelly. Signaling the play, and there's an injured player over on the far side for Columbia Academy. And, again, we don't like to see any players injured. And this is one of those situations young men do get hurt, but you hope it's nothing serious. Maybe, you know, cramp, which it's probably not, but we're not going to speculate what it is. And, uh, Gary, I'm almost tempted to take a timeout. Let's t try a 30-second timeout. We'll be back after this 30. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. 
back at Columbia Academy, and uh, both teams still at the sideline had an injured player, but I believe he is up and off to the sideline. Jackson Christian has the football on the 37 of Columbia Academy, second down and 10 at this point. And I said Jackson Christian has it, which they do. They come with a slot right. Actually, two receivers to each side. Empty backfield is the tight end on the line. We throw underneath, and they throw it to big Daniel Green, who will catch it about to 31, trying to get some yardage. May have lost six or eight inches, but – he was trying to move it forward. It'll be third and three. And the Eagles may have committed a penalty, but this is the officials crew's fault because they've not done what they were supposed to do with preventative officiating. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into it, but I remember some things that we were taught at Jackson High about infuriating opponents and things like that. And uh, it's very interesting what's going on. For you Jackson Christian fans, you all know exactly what I mean when I say it's very interesting. Now, what would have been a very easy thing now with the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, which uh, you got to look at the cause. It's third and 17. You got two plays. The ball is on the 44. And again, go with the empty backfield set, a tight end. Two guys on the left are off the line. Jack Collins is the split end. And uh, like I said, it's, it's interesting. Not the good kind of interesting. I remind you, you can see the game tomorrow after 24 hours. And uh, we uh, and praise the Booster Club for getting it here. Here's Kelly wanting Easton Jones to go in motion. They're going to sprint right, and they bring a man hard off the corner. Pass is complete, knocked back. Let's see if the spot will be proper. And right now, if that official is marking it, where the one that waved the arms at that point, that is a horrible call, a gross injustice. Now we've got another personal foul call, and this one's going against CA. Officials, come see me. I'll tell you how to solve this problem so you have a football game. It's called preventative officiating. This is not fair to either team. Looks like it will give Jackson Christian a first down, but I'm not going to say anything until I'm sure and see the ball spotted. And it is a first down, but geez. 12th first down, and I'm sorry about that, but they the officials have allowed the game to get cheap. You know, basketball officials will step in quicker than football officials will. One man in the backfield with Austin Kelly. Austin looks over here. Got three receivers. Actually, you got four to the left, counting the tight end. Here's the bubble screen, and again, we need a second lock. But oh, DeMoss, can he keep his balance? No, but he gets the first down. Great catch and run by Elijah DeMoss, the senior. Just think what he would have done had he not gotten hurt in soccer last year. This kid is shot out of a cannon, and you would have had him, Easton Jones, and Jalen Mosley playing. Great job, though. Good call, and a, another first down. And it will be first and goal from the 10. That time, they got too good a penetration, and Monte Baldwin, one of the tacklers, and 22, the other tackler, Jax Hickerson, who's played a good game tonight. And like I said, and I, I sound like a broken record, let's 
you know, the officials now, they're going to talk about it. And uh, they'll signal the home side. It's tough to see sometimes from the visitor side. Let's call again on, on Columbia Academy and fans. I, I'm going to defend Columbia Academy a little bit. If these officials would talk to, work with these two teams and emphasize what they're doing, you wouldn't have to be calling these penalties. Now, did they commit the penalty? Yes. And I have lost coverage on my phone. So it is now second and goal from the five is where it should be placed. They may have put it on the six, but it should have been put on the five. Now the whistles blow, and they're going to check with each other. Mm -mm -mm. That's all interesting, 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 interesting. And I forget that, you know, I keep looking for my video too, fans. And I, Paul apologizes, Jackson Christian does. Uh, we appreciate those of you that are listening to the audio tonight, the video. And please spread the word that we'll have video of this game tomorrow. 41 24, 10 59. Eagles to the line of scrimmage will shift. Easton Jones in at running back, power side, the right side of our formation. Austin Kelly throws a quick one out there to DeMoss. He juggled it, or he would head. Yardage, and he still, DeMoss gets away. Could he get there? Oh, it's going to be razor close. He catches that ball clean, and he is gone. Now, it is third and goal from the two. Another completion. 19 for 26, I believe, if I'm correct. Collins left. DeMoss left. They send the slot man in motion and go up the middle with it. Deuce Lawrence, does he have six? Yes, Deuce Lawrence for six, bringing the Eagles back to win a, in 11 with 10 minutes, 11 seconds to go. And we are in the fourth quarter of play. Zach Sisko on for the all-important extra point. This is at the 10-11 mark, the snap, the kick. It looks good. It goes out of the ball field and over where the cars are parked. It is good. And the Eagles have pulled back to within 10. Let's take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian and Worthy Road Studios Network. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will And as Misty Sharp says, way to go, Eagles. Lawrence Taylor sends claps. And I'm going to tell you what, valiant effort by the Eagles. They've got 10 minutes to tie this thing up or take the lead. And a great ball game. CA will pull back ahead, and then Jackson Christian comes roaring back. Some unusual calls for both teams in this contest. Zach Sisko to kick off. They usually send Baldwin, and they had Darrell the last time. Sometimes it's Brownlee back there with him. C.A. looking for the onside kick, and here it didn't take the second bounce, and C.A. fell on it wisely, covering the football. Was their number 33, Nixon Love. What you want is that second bounce, and it bounces over the front line, but that one stayed low. And so the pressure is on the Jackson Christian defense to hold them to a three and out or get a takeaway here. Caleb Newsom, Cedric Anderson, Gavin coming here, Gavin Walker. Carrier, Collins back in, Blake Rowland, Kai White at middle linebacker, Goff and Eli Craig, it's first and 10 for CA on their own 48. They're going to give the ball when we had it. He goes down, and then he gets up and runs. Now they're going to throw a flag on us because we pushed him. 
Blow the whistle. Rule the man down. Now, we got to keep our hands off. But I don't agree with the call because they caused it by not calling the play efficiently, and he got up to run again. This is a travesty of justice the way it's. That's more than 15 yards, guys. And I know it's 15 from the point of the foul, but uh, another first down. That one I don't necessarily agree with. And blow the whistle and keep and blow it really hard when they get up and start to run again after they're down. Baldwin gets a hole in the V gap. Actually, they faked me off and. Keeping it was Rawson, and I'm not the only one that got faked out. He's got another first down, about a 15-yard carry for Connor Rawson. CA moving the football deep into Jackson Christian territory. Now, this game, uh, two fine teams out there, but the officials have let the contest deteriorate some. Pistol formation, H-back shifts to the right side. They pull, and they have three men leading. Baldwin breaks it outside. He'll get some yardage and run out of bounds. Short game. Bring up second down, stops the clock. Jackson Christian needing a turnover very badly. About a two-yard gain for him. Hopefully we'll have enough time after the contest is over for Greg Armour to come and give you official stats. And for those of you who know me, I'm not skinny and I have had trouble. Gary and I together, we both had trouble fitting in behind this table. And we've almost laid on each other a couple times. Baldwin tries the C gap. Good yardage this time, breaks a tackle, and then we get a couple of shoestring tackles around the ankle. Uh, Easton Jones, one of them, but he wasn't the only one there. And it looks like another first down as we have got to bow our back and get a stop here. It's first and 10, and the ball is on the 10, so that will make it first and goal. And they have four full downs to take it in, and they would love to score one more touchdown for sure because of the size of the lead we had last year on them. Connor Rawson, the quarterback. Monte Baldwin at tailback. Darrell to the left. And they're going to try Darrell. He bends it back, and he's going to take it 10 yards and go in all the way. 10-yard run. And the Bulldogs have taken a 47-31 lead. And checking the time, 8.44 to go. Puts a lot of pressure on Jackson Christian to score very quickly. Isaac Smith comes on to kick the extra point. He wears number 17. And the kick is up, and it uh, the goal post disappears. And that makes it 48-31. We'll take a 30-second timeout with Columbia Academy leading. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. We're back, and anybody that thinks this one is over is wrong. Now, the problem is the time more than the Columbia Academy team is the enemy of the Eagles. Eagles have to put points on the board, trailing by 17 very quickly because you've got a limited number of possessions left in this game unless you force the Bulldogs to cough it up. I see Roberson out there as Green came off the field, and Easton Jones back at that deep spot. They'll probably kick away from him, but we'll see what happens. 
Mason Vaughn looks like he is the far uh, receiver that is back. Let's see what happens. This one, kind of a squib kick. Blake Rowland watches it go out of bounds. Shouldn't any time have run off, and it didn't. Choice, do you want it at the 35 or kick it again? I think Jackson Christian will make them kick it again. Everybody will move five yards. We'll move towards the north five yards as they will. It'll be kicked from the 35. And Smith uses the left hash mark trying to, and you know he's going to try to cut down the size of the field so they can cover better. And I'm not looking for a deep kick. I'm looking for one that's going to bounce, be a squib kick or something like that. Tomorrow when you watch the game, you'll watch their people go off of a pivot man, so to speak. Here's the bouncer. We let it go through instead of picking it up. Easton Jones has it, and he's going to get to the 40-yard line. And we are 60 yards away from a score and need to score very, very quickly. That last drive, 52 yards, I believe, by CA. And here comes Kelly with his team. Encouragement, like the way the coaches for Jackson Christian are doing that. And I agree with you fans like Joan Bird and several others. Uh, keep fighting, Andrea Richardson. First and ten. Send a man in motion. Flood this side. They got a man coming back side. We throw it deep. Jack Collins looking, looking. There had to be pass interference, and we caught it anyway, even with the pass interference. Nice pass down to about the 15. Good job by Jack and Austin combining on that one. First down, our 14th one, and they blow the whistle. And it looks like CA has called a timeout. Columbia Academy's called one. We'll take a 30-second one also. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. We are back, and if he is still listening, I may have said it too early. Mo Grimes, the uh, former uh, Daily Herald sports writer here, along with Marion, people uh, listening. Jackson, some of you know Mo. Mo's been on the WNWS uh, Sports Talk and then the cheap seats before. First and 10, ball on the 15. Jackson Christian has it. They'll send Green the H back to the right. And they're going to try Deuce Lawrence over that right side, and he's going to get across the 15. And pick up of a couple of tough yards, actually about three. And, again, we hope we'll have stats tomorrow. You can watch this game. Uh, has to be put on 24 hours later, and it'll be available. We appreciate all y'all. And no, Steve Phillips, it's still going on. Steve Phillips, one of the great officials in West Tennessee. Wish he was here tonight. Here we go. The pass lobbed in the end zone. A lot of hand checking and stuff. And it goes incomplete. Now that in the end zone looked like a fight in kindergarten. And it wasn't a fight. It was just a lot of hand shaking and all kinds of description. Not a karate tournament. Third down and six. The ball on the 11. Jackson Christian's got two downs to get those six yards. Two men in the backfield. DeMoss trying to turn the corner. He's got the 10, the 9, the 5, and a horse collar. Oh, man. It was a horse collar tackle, and that's how you hurt people. It's illegal. And illegal isn't a sick bird either. But no call. Maybe a late hit, maybe. Maybe. You break it, 
This uh, I want you to watch the tape tomorrow. Mark that at the 737 mark. And if you don't have a horse collar, you got a late hit, but you had the horse collar. I mean, it was as clear as all get out. First down and goal on the four. You can hear one of the fans hollering late hit. I'm more for the horse collar because where the arm was placed. First and goal from the four. They shift the power is to the right of the formation. Deuce Lawrence with that little hesitation step goes left. He won't have the touchdown, but he'll be close. Going over the C gap or right behind Tristan Nash and Hudson Neubauer. The ball's coming back on the field. Really need to put that touchdown in quickly, then come back with some form, a different form than we used last time. Wasn't anything wrong with it, just didn't take the second hop. Second and goal from the one. Now the whistles blow. And it's offside Columbia Academy. Yeah, this is half half a yard, and it's, it should be from the half yard line if the ball is properly marked. Second, now you have to list it on the scoreboard as second and one. But I'm not going to say they marked many properly tonight. Looks like it's still almost second and a full yard. Very interesting. Eagles come to the line with Lawrence in the backfield. Collins wide right. Here's DeMoss. Will they run the jet sweep? The X action. And I would say Lawrence broke the plane. One official is signaling. Now the second one has signaled it. So Deuce Lawrence, it's a 641 mark. Has scored. Like I told you, it's not over. We just need to get the football back. We've got it to within 11. Now the all-important extra point. The kick is well good. It is 48-38. Let's take a timeout. Jackson Christian trailing by 10. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. We are back, 6.41 to go. Cisco will kick it from close, not quite on the far hash marks. Setting that tee up. Could he use the watermelon? Will he use the try the bouncer? Will he use the direct one? Nine men, actually ten, within 15 yards of the football, maybe less than that. Ball went back if it did go deep. This one in the air and catching it and going down very quickly is number seven, Jack Gordon, for the Bulldogs. So now it is all on the defense's back to come up with a stop. We've tried a lot of different onside type kicks. Jack Collins runs out there. Let's see if Roberson or Robertson stays. Carlos leaving, or is he going back out there? He's going back, and Jack is going to take a rest because they're going to need him on offense and have him fresh and those fresh legs. Walker, Anderson, and Newsom have logged long minutes, as have those linebackers. Here's Craig coming to this side, but they have their H back to the far side. They'll flip him over. Oh, nice hole. Baldwin's got a good spin move. And he'll get down to about the 41, maybe even the 40, depending on the way they've been spotting the football. Second down, a pickup of seven. Now they move it back to the 41. So probably a pickup. Well, it's still... About it's about six, 
right in there in between six and seven pickup. Second, a short four, long three. Here's Baldwin. He's got a hole. He hit that seam well, and he's got a first down. It should be. That should be the 17th or maybe the 18th. Be the 18th. Looks like Jackson Christian's going to get a penalty. Is that face mask? Is what they're saying. And it'll go down to the 35-yard line. No, it'll be on the 30, actually. Clock arrested at 5.33. Let's see when they wind it. Robertson's got Daro, who has got great speed, but so does Carlos. Now they're going to reset the clock. The clock has been interesting. Whoever's operating the clock has been interesting tonight. It's wound and it'll start at 542 and counting down. 34 seconds still left on the play clock and Columbia Academy will start to milk that clock even more as they hold a 10 point lead over the Eagles at 4838. They probably won't even approach the line until about 10 or 11 seconds. And they do, they come up at 11 officially. Tight trips, three receivers to the right, but I'm looking for the running play, and it is. To ball when he slides down, we go over the top of him and avoid it, but Caleb Newsom was in there like a bullet. Second down and about 13. The ball back on the 33, actually closer to the 34, but it's still considered the 33. 22 seconds on the play clock at 4.42 and counting down. They will have to snap it before it hits four minutes, but precious time slipping away for the Eagles. Back in the pistol with the H back to the right side. Five seconds, they'll snap it with about two. They pull the guards. Baldwin runs behind them. He's broke, broken one tackle, and there Easton Jones holds on to finish Roberson and one other gentleman for the Eagles in there. Look like Eli Craig. And again, 38 and counting. It is third down and about seven. The ball is on the Jackson Christian 27. Eagles wanting to stop here. And there you, our young men's giving it all they got to get that stop. And again, at 19 seconds on the play clock and 351 on the game clock. Bulldogs milking it, as you should. If I was the OC, I'd tell them not to snap it till there was either two or three seconds left on the play clock. It's down to four. Here's the snap. They give the ball and trying to left side. He bounces outside. We lost contain, and he's going to get the first down and run out of bounds. Now, his coaches may not want him to get hit anymore. It's the reason he ran out of bounds. They get the first down out of it, and that makes it extremely tough but not over yet. We just have to have the football. Our outside contain man did not keep his outside hand free, and Baldwin was able to bounce it outside. You must keep that outside hand free. Tight trips is what I call it. They pull the guards, head back to the right side, and again, the tackle, and we almost got our hands up there around that neck area, but a good tackle. And now Jackson Christian may have to start using some timeouts to keep it. Now the helmet comes off, so Baldwin, theoretically, unless Columbia Academy calls a timeout, has to leave the game. And he does. Nash comes on wearing number 40. Now our Nash wears 58. Play clock at 22. The game clock at 313 and counting. They won't approach the line for about another three seconds. Then they'll set up, run it down to somewhere between two and four on the play clock. 
It will go under three here in just a second. Power the formation to the left. They go to Nash now. The clock runs out. It'll cost them five. 2.52 on delay of game. But the Eagles need the football. It's second and five. That make, should make it. If it's done properly, the penalty marked off, it'll be second and ten. And that play does And they got it right this time. Second and ten. Baldwin could not come in because no play was run. So Nash has to take another one. They go with the three receivers left, and it's – Version of tight slot, some people calls it. Oh, Kai Wyatt hit him first, but then the finish off comes from Caleb Newsom for a loss of about two yards. Clock running, though, at 241, and the play clock at 33 seconds, and they're going to use every second they can. Baldwin comes back on the field. And like I said, Jackson Christian gets the ball back. They have got to put the thing in the end zone in a hurry but it's not over as Yogi Berra said till it's over don't know how wise that was of Yogi to say it that way but it's kind of true in the pistol with the tight trips again we almost jumped but didn't almost only counts in horseshoes hanging got to get out here and set that corner and uh, he went out of bounds so that's a help Wait a minute, I thought he went out of bounds. Uh, The clock, as it kept running, five more seconds ran off the clock again. Interesting. I've been in games where the clock has gone completely out. I think I'd rather have that situation tonight. Keep it on the stopwatch. Rightfully so, they put the five back on. Fourth and 15. Let's see if Baldwin gets it. No, they're going to sprint right past. Newsom has it, or almost has him, and they catch it. But he should be well short of the first down, and the Eagles have now got to make hay while the sun shine with a minute 49 to go. Would you think that maybe Columbia Academy secondary would bite on DeMoss throwing a running back, halfback, whatever you want to call it, option pass or just a straight-out pass out of that? I doubt it because their coaches should be instructing them to play deep. It is not impossible, folks. Ten-point lead is not, but you just got to score quick and then get the onside kick. Lawrence in the backfield, a slot right with a single receiver left, sprinting right. Kelly looks, 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 cranks his javelin up, hits the carrier, and that one is one of those that kind of it hits you in the shoulder pads, and when that thing hits your shoulder pads, it will bounce out even if you have your hands on it. That one hurt. Not because anybody did anything super wrong. It hurts because time was lost. Time, the ally of Columbia Academy, the enemy at 143 in the fourth quarter, 10 point lead, trips left or right actually spread a whole lot. And it looks like Columbia Academy wants to take a timeout and talk about it. They didn't like how they were covering it. We'll take a timeout and come back for the final minute and 43. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat of my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. One forty-three left in this contest. Columbia Academy leads the Eagles by 10. The Eagles must strike quickly. Then onside kick, get the football back and strike almost as quickly in the short amount of time left. Carrier I see out here, DeMoss to the right. We have Lawrence in the backfield, sprinting right, Austin Kelly looking, looking. He's got Trent Carrier. Trent, does he get out of bounds? We'll look, and they stop the clock at 135. 
Now, CA's doing what they want to do, keeping our receivers in front of them. Clock arrested at 135. Ball's on the 36. Another first down for Jackson Christian. Big Daniel Green is out here on the outside. You'd love it. They're playing a two-high safety right now. Kelly quickly to Green. Green wants to go out of bounds, and the whistle was blowing, and you're supposed to release. And I don't blame the Jackson Christian fans for hollering on that one. Clock still running, as they say he didn't get out of bounds. Pressure from the backside. Kelly heads towards the sideline and gets out of bounds. That should be. It's close, though. I could even make a no call, but I can't see where the line was. If he hit him on the wrong side of the line, it is worth 15. The clock stopped at 113. Should put the ball into Columbia Academy territory. I think one of the fans is about to pass out that the officials call that one. But anyway, slot right, sprint right. Kelly looking, looking, cranks the javelin, hits green in the middle of the field. We'll have to use a timeout. He goes down at about the 27, and we either got to run up there and spike it quick or call the timeout. The clock will stop temporarily. Let's see if we're spiking it. It starts back. It's at 59 and counting. Sprinting right, Kelly. Kelly looks, he's, and he slips down. Now we call the timeout. Oops, they've let seconds run off. In the, here we go again with the clock. I'm not sure whether they need to put three or four back up there, maybe even five. And the White Hat, uh, Coach Darby needs to talk to the White Hat about this one, although the White Hat is trying to make an adjustment. I would say 51 or 52 is where the clock should be. And that, But that gives both teams time to talk. But in this case, it really favors, of course, we were going to call the timeout anyway, uh, we get a play out of it, which should favor us. But CA really gets to set their defense, and their coaches tell them they put 51 on there. I can live with that. 52 may have been the proper thing, but we won't complain. Ten points down with 51 seconds. Need a quick score. We're having to throw underneath as they've gone to a two-high defense. That's two safeties back, much like the old Tampa 2. We throw and we get out of bounds. Let's see, they stop the clock. They do stop the clock. The completion advances the football, not for a first down. There goes the clock running again. Did you stop it or not? Or wind it? Oh, they let it run all the way down to 39. This, this is ridiculous. And I don't mind using that word. You know, if a team gets anything going, uh, and it's really kind of funny when the clock runs, because it doesn't run all the time. It's just it's certain situations. You study the film tomorrow that will be put up about 24 hours after this game is over. And the football is going to be spotted on the 42 with 47 seconds. Kelly steps up. He's hit, but he gets the pass off to Green. Green can't get out of bounds. Jackson Christian almost needs to use another timeout if they've got one. And of all nights, and they do have one, according to my stats. They should have two, but we'll see if that's right. There is a lady, and bless her heart, she's probably right. 
I don't know whose finger is on the button of that. We're going to keep it here, I guess. And uh, I will check with Gary. Gary, how are we doing on commercial commitments? Please patronize our sponsors because those of you that will get to watch it tomorrow and hear the broadcast tonight, you didn't have to pay the National Federation eleven ninety five plus the state tax on it. And support your Eagles and the people that support them. Some great sponsors on this broadcast. 37 seconds left in somebody's season. Eagles have the hardest task because they're down 10 with 37.5 seconds. And fourth quarter. And I cannot blame Eagle fans for being upset. Carrier and Collins to the right. Austin Kelly back. They loop a linebacker in there. With the, we throw it up in the air. And we actually had to play a little defense out there as DeMoss broke it up with 30.5 seconds. Third down and 16, and I thought I saw the handkerchief drop, the flag. Let's see. Maybe my eyes deceived me. My young colleagues to the left of me thought they saw something too, but let's see what's happening here. Nothing but an incomplete pass is what it looks like. So we were wrong. And I'm not the only one. 30.5 seconds. Well, now they look like they are going to mark something off. They do. Wow. Ball across the 20 down to about the 18. It is fourth and a long one. This play could be the ball game. Jackson Christian either has to score or make a first down or make a first down and score if you prefer it that way. 30.5 seconds. If they fail to make it, this game basically is over all but the shouting. If they make it, there is still a chance. Yes, 10-point lead for CA, but you still got time to onside kick and throw a Hail Mary. Here comes Zach Sisko on. And let's see, the ball is on the 18 plus the 7 for the spot. That would be 25. This would be a 35-yard field goal. He's got to mark his footwork. Here's the snap, the kick. It's long enough, but it looks like it just went. It is good. It barely creeped inside that left. Now the Eagles are within 7 points. They need the onside kick. And, Gary, let's take a quick 30 here. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. We are back, and we will inform you, Nashville Christian 44, Trinity 27. Thank you, Sonny Witherspoon. And uh, other people, good thumbs up. Hey, if even if we go down, we have gone down fighting. Zach Sisko will try the onside kick. They have gone with, is it 10 men, or will they bring Baldwin up? Baldwin's protecting a flank, or he'll drop back. Let's see what type of kick the coaches have chosen. 25.7 seconds left in this contest. We must recover this kick. It's the only chance we have because if CA recovers it, game over. They would just have to snap it that one time. Make sure you watch the replay. It won't be archived until 24 hours after we finish the broadcast tonight. We'll try to wait for Greg Armour to come down with you some official stats. But if he doesn't get down, the count on the 24 hours starts a little quicker. So, uh, and thank you, Sonny, for that. Uh, there's three seconds left in that Nashville Christian Trinity game. 
You know, they had the great quarterback. Uh, our papers down local didn't account for Jared Curtis, the great quarterback at Nashville Christian, coached by Jeff Brothers. Now the clock has been adjusted and changed again. Probably had 30.5 on it a minute ago. Uh, we scored at 30.5, so that's where it should have been. Here it comes. Will it bounce twice? And it bounces. And did CA fall on it or we did? And I see some despair out of some of our players as we did not get control of the football, evidently, is what they're going to rule. And this contest looks like, barring some miracle, going to finish at 48-41 in a great contest. Or will we kick it again? No. Uh, CA is already celebrating, even though the clock has not been cranked up. Now, if I understand this right, they have got to snap the football one more time. All we can hope for, and they'll probably go into victory formation, some kind of fumble that we could return all the way. Because they don't have to snap it till there's the clock uh, should wind it. Play clock has 18 on it. And Connor Rawson back deep enough. And we could stop it, but we couldn't stop it more than once. So the teams will line up this exciting high school contest with a never say die Jackson Christian team ends at 48 41. This is what high school football is all about. Eagle fans, I know they're going to get back late, but I want you to be there and you show these young men some appreciation. Columbia Academy played hard. We played hard. The clock didn't work real well, but that's one of those things that happens. That's the reason the human error and stuff is in there, and we don't have artificial intelligence doing these things. But, again, both schools, your, the parents, the fans, Pat the young men on the back. Give them the proper accolades. And Jackson Christian ends the season 10-2. and two. In the last two years, they are 20-4 and four, and a great effort. We're going to take a timeout. We'll come back and talk about this game and wait for Greg Armour. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. 
Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We are back, a very sad score of 48-41. The Eagles gave it all they had, some unfortunate mistakes, some big plays, some plays that could have gone a little better. And the bad part is this is the last game for some of the finest young men. We just had him on the show the other night, the Eagles show. Number one, Elijah DeMoss, the senior. Number 10, a really nice young man, plays hard, Everett Scott. Also, number 14, Zach Sisko, one of the finest kickers in the state. Trent Carrier, tough as nails, and we've had him and Zach on the show and several of these young men, fine young men, the one kind you want to see and talk to and, and be around. Aiden Bird, again, another one of those super young men, along with Caleb Newsom. Uh, Caleb has given me a lot of thrills over the years I've called these games. Hudson Newbauer, a young man that came to our school last year, and what a nice young man, has done a good job at left guard. And, of course, Jack Pomeroy, another one of those fine young men who has given his time and effort to the program. Ty Smith, brilliant young man, great right guard, a senior. Also, Eli Gay, one of the nicest young men that plays center force, an undersized center that has outplayed his size and done a good job. Patrick Wilson. Again, another one of those great, nice young men. And, of course, you've got Cedric Anderson, the big nose guard. I think we'll see him play football somewhere. I know there's a school in Oklahoma that would love to have him, uh, or at least they had. Uh, I had gotten that indication from them. He's a senior. Daniel Green going to UTC, unless he changes his mind. He's a commit there. Uh, going to see him in baseball. He's a senior. And Jack Collins, 88. Jack has given a lot of memories and stuff, and those young men are, are great people, people that you want to be around. And, you know, it's it's just one of those things. And um, you hate to see them lose. Columbia Academy played hard. They were able to put points on the board and do some things. We failed to tackle a few times. We also did a lot of good things. It hurts, and understand your young men especially those of you that have seniors out there. And like I said, please at least meet the bus. Do something nice for these young men. We're going to take one more time out, and we'll see if Greg can get here. If not, we'll give you a quick wrap-up. And remind you, you can see this game in 24 hours from when we wrap up.
New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest, greatest. We are back. The final score, Columbia Academy Bulldogs 48, Jackson Christian Eagles 41. A great effort in what turned into a very exciting game. Sometimes the clock just runs out on you, but that's the reason they have time limits, baseball being one of the few sports there is without a time limit on it. But Little League has time limits. So does Dixie Youth and things like that. But major leagues don't and colleges don't. But football, basketball, soccer, sports like that all have time limits on it. Uh, C.A. was able to get one more touchdown on the board than we were at 48-41. Uh, some great seniors I just named off. We were trying to hold out so Greg Armour could give you a final statistical report. There will not be an Eagle show Tuesday night unless something changes. There will be Jackson Christian basketball at our gymnasium, Jerry Eskew Gymnasium, and looking forward to that. And I don't see Greg coming down the steps. And we will thank all of you that listen tonight, watch the game tomorrow, and uh, appreciate the Eagles. We have a great school, great coaches, great team. We thank everybody. Thank the people from Columbia Academy. And I wish I could remember their athletic secretary's name. She was very helpful in getting me a roster. And uh, – uh, interesting booth here. I think I've broken my leg or chipped it or done something. The lights are off in the bottom of this press box. And I probably, at worst, have a bone chip or something. But that's okay. I love giving you Eagle football, and we will see you with Eagle basketball and Lady Eagle basketball Tuesday night. The opponent is West Carroll, and we tip it off at 6 o'clock. Pre-game show about 15 till 6 and who knows, we may get Darby Palmer and some of the coaching staff to talk a little football and, and start the pregame a little sooner. And we want to thank uh, Shane Cisco. What a great job. And, of course, uh, Gary, have we got our graphic that we put up there? And I love that graphic because I don't think Greg's going to make it down. And if we don't, it's, it's okay. But I want to give you guys credit, and Paul Schultz credit, and all those folks and uh, – We've had a great year and a great crew this year. Next year, we're even going to get better. And we appreciate every one of you fans. And Sonny Witherspoon, thank you for that score you got. I was not able to get scores. Coach T didn't want to work right for me tonight. There it is. Oh, man, here we go. Jack Young, and we are so glad. We need to get Jack to work more. Is that Greg Armour coming down here? Wait a minute. Time out. Time out because some of these fans want to hear Greg Armour. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give Greg my headset. We're going to make a quick changeover unless he's got to catch the bus. Greg, have you got to catch the bus? Well, I'm going to give you my headset, and I'm going to let you be the golden-throated warbler and sing a great effort even in a losing effort.
Thank you, Joe. Uh, all right, let's get to the stance for Jackson Christian. In the passing department, we passed 38 times, completing 25 for 287 yards, and Austin had two passing touchdowns. Uh, Jack Collins had five receptions for 62 yards. Daniel Green had five for 58. Easton Jones had three for 49. Trent Carrier had four for 36. Elijah DeMoss had seven for 49. We had 18 first downs. In the rushing department, we rushed 36 times for 98 yards. Deuce Lawrence had 19 carries for 53 yards. Elijah DeMoss had seven for 28. Elijah, I mean, um, Easton Jones had six for 19. Uh, we had two field goals, one 27 yard and one 35 yard by Zach Sisko. We had pen, uh, six penalties for, what, for 55 yards. For Columbia Academy, they had 21 first downs in the passing department. Their quarter of Austin attempted 17, completing 10 for 159. In the rushing department, they rushed 45 times for 299 yards. Their leading receiver was Baldwin. He had 37 carries for 253 yards and four and one, two, three, four TDs. They had 458 yards of total offense, and we had 385 yards of total offense. So it was, you know, a good effort. We lost uh, 48 to 41. The Eagles uh, fought all night long. They gave a real good effort. And uh, hats off to the Eagles for the hard work that they've done this year. Back to you, Joe. We appreciate Greg's efforts, and he gave a touch that a lot of schools don't have on their broadcast. He has official stats. Of course, the press box at Jackson Christian named for him for after 35-plus years of service. Great win uh, for CA. Tough loss for the Eagles. Please say nice things and meet our Eagles if you get a chance. I know it'll be late, but we're going to tell you again, this is a copyright broadcast. You can watch it 24 hours from when I sign off if nothing goes wrong with the uh, putting it up there. And you will be able to hear, we appreciate you listening to it and us having to do a radio broadcast. But again, a copyright broadcast, any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. Gary Lockhart, great job. Dak Young, a great job. Paul Schultze, great job back in Jackson. And Coach Joe Holloway, uh, even in pain, enjoyed bringing you this game tonight. We'll see you Tuesday night at Jerry SQ Gym. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.